This episode brought to you by Sentient Capes. It's okay to wear them with their consent, of course. Hey, everybody. We're watching... Uh, hey, everybody. <laughs> hey, the Wolfman. <laughs> Wolfman Jack, here we go. Yeah, we'll... <clears throat> I can do two. We'll be yeah. dual, do two Wolfmans. <laughs> okay, let's... We got Wolfman Jack here. And we're listening to Doctor Strange, and you're listening to Miss Cass Commentary. Huh? <laughs> Welcome to Miss Cass Commentary's Movie Marathon. Before we get started... Does anyone want to get out? With two guys actually crazy enough to get this done. And I have a bow and arrow. Now here are your hosts. Language. Joe Findlay and Todd Murray. Hey everybody, welcome to Miscast Commentary. I'm Joe Findlay. I'm Todd Tebow, the Sailor Murray. And we are back with you. We continue. We're coming to the end, man. I we're, know. We're, we are on the home stretch, Ooh. I would think, at this what point. What a bruise. And we are, I don't know, would we consider this maybe a less spoken about movie? I think so. I think so, but I mean I don't think a lot, of people, a lot of people that I talk to, oh, what are you doing this? I'm like, we're doing Doctor Strange. I'm like, meh. Yeah. But I, I like it. I, 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 enjoy, I enjoy the movie a lot. I enjoy that. I've, but I think it's just, again, it's not one of the main dudes. It's different than what he is now. He was in yeah. the damn yeah, he's, Infinity War. He's a big ass dude in Infinity War. And they, you uh, know, they're, they're his, his whole, there's always like two, two theories. Yeah. It's like what they're saying, who's going to save the day? And it's either like Captain Marvel, or sorry, it's like Ant Man or Doctor Strange. Yeah. yeah. I Those think it are will the two be, major theories that are out. I think it will be Ant Man then Doctor Strange. To be honest, why well, it's gonna be a double whammy and then a little bit of uh, Captain Marvel. <laughs> oh, I just noticed something. Uh oh. Our um, my schedule doesn't include Thor Ragnarok because we were talking about oh. what heads. So I have to add. Th- I have to add Thor Ragnarok. We could be watching. Should be watching Thor right now. No, it's not. It's later. I think it's somewhere around Black Panther two. Yeah. It's in there somewhere. Oh, now I gotta look it up. Oh, God. Well, let's start. Come on. Yeah. Shit. It's like the longest beginning thing ever. Shit, mom. Shit. All right. (laughs) All right. Well, that's the only... (laughs) We'll figure it out later. Yeah, the only way to get this thing started is to press play. Now. All right. Just before I said now is when you should have pressed it. Yeah. I couldn't see his hand motion today. Yeah, why can't you... uh, Fuck. Well, because we normally do this on a computer, and today we're not. This is all legal today, baby. <laughs> well, except for the whole. Well, I always we it's, acquired the film yeah. legally. We have the digital. This time, yeah. I ha- I own all these films. I have the digital copies of all these films. What version of digital copy I'm watching is really not your concern at that exactly. point. Exactly, it's none of your goddamn business. If yeah. I want to take a guy home with me tonight, it's none of your fucking business. Yeah, and I'm literally, and he sort of is because I'm his ride. <laughs> fucking right, girl. Mm-mm-mm. Hello. Wind chimes oh, are taking place. I so really, just... really like this movie. I do a lot, too. I really dug it. I like what it did for the Eye of Agamotto. Mm-hmm. And I think that... Uh, I, I love just what Doctor Strange says, in, and I think the the other one there, where he's like, uh, he's like, what do you do exactly? I think it's Iron Man. Oh, it's... And in, he's like, I, I just keep the reality of time no, and space it's, together. It, it's Infinity War. He's like, I, he's like, I, pro- he's like, I protect your reality, douchebag. Yeah. So it's like we never see him, but he's been a hero forever. He's like the unsung hero of the Marvel yeah. Universe. I like, and the other thing too is I just didn't know a lot about Doctor Strange. I didn't know anything about him. And that's why I think really has been intriguing me is because I knew about Iron Man. I knew about Captain America. I knew about the Hulk. I know Spider-Man. I know Thor. Like, okay, great. And th- th- there's nothing wrong with that. There's no... Con- there's no complaint about that, but then, but then you have like Guardians of the Galaxy and Black Panther and all these, and you're like, I don't know these guys. Like, yeah. what are we dealing with, right? I, you know, the guy I knew, mm-hmm. I know that Doctor Strange was the Sorcerer Supreme. Like, yeah. I know from reading certain comics, and over yeah. time, just kind of dipping the toe into the scene. Yeah. You know, I knew of him. I didn't know what his. I didn't know about the eye. Yeah. I didn't know any of this shit, right? Yeah, I I didn't know. It was Hannibal. Yeah, exactly. He's actually um, the third Hannibal to be in a, in a Marvel movie. Ooh, oh, yeah. Because Brian Cox 
was in X Men Two, yes. and he was the original Hannibal. Obviously, Anthony Hopkins plays Odin, and so this is your third Hannibal Lecter in in a movie. In well, the, only two in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but Marvel. Yeah, I don't really overall. count two, but that's still neat. It's so Marvel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Marvel loves a uh, Hannibal Lecter. Yeah, apparently so. So, I mean, if you want to get into one of these oh, movies and you're not a good gonna, actor, eat somebody. He's going to eat the page that he just ripped out, like in uh, Red Dragon. Yeah, everybody should do that. I do that. When I see, when I read a really scathing article mm-hmm. in the Inquirer, I rip the pages and eat it. I really liked uh, Ray Fiennes in Red Dragon. He fucking nailed it in that movie. That movie was terrible. I, I loved him in it. <laughs> I really did. I think Ray Fiennes. Fi- oh, yeah. No, yeah. no, I hated it. I, hated it. Yeah. I think that was right when I, I he like snipped at me because I made fun of him in that <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> So I was like, fuck you. Only years later, I was like, yeah, he's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Good to have to. You are Severus oh, Snape yeah. after all. Here we go. This was what was so cool. Now, right off the bat. Like this whole kaleidoscope thing. Mm-hmm. We, need, we need to uh, obviously address this whole Ancient One thing. Whoa. Oh, the controversy. Yeah. Uh, it was a very specific decision that was made. Not specifically to make, make them uh, white or a woman, but to get as far away from the super asian stereotype right, of it right. oh um, you can't win you could have put in the mm-hmm. old asian guy there people said how dare you he's yeah. a stereotype you got a but, white lady yeah. it's, it's a woman yeah. it's supposed to be a man because under uh consideration was also morgan freeman bill nye ken what ken watanabe bill nye like not bill nye the science guy bill oh. nye from like uh yeah, like Shaun of the dead and all those things and uh bummer f- yeah so but like you had uh like there were a lot of other options out there and they d- and then they decided to go with this thing and then also the director scott derrickson kind of kind of like the old bond uh oh, theory he's letting his buddies go yeah that's nice of him yeah right see how can you like look at this craziness like look at this well, shit i know it's so like this is what the fuck like it's like inception on steroids i know it is a little right? uh it's like inception mixed with dark city yes on roids yeah in a but, robe but i like all of the, like the mythology in this is really cool and like this idea of you can do li- like you're literally limitless if you're working within this realm. Like Brad- or- Bradley Cooper on drugs, baby, you're limitless. Oh, there you go. Bald God, guy. remember when he tried to make that a? Uh, that's me. That was my skinny days. Um, you're always throwing your hands around like that. Man, I would if shit would. I I do it now every now and again just to see if any shit comes out. Because like, well, between them and Scarlet Witch, I'm like something might happen. I don't know. I think Tom Selleck would have been a better Sorcerer Supreme. <laughs> probably in the 80s he probably would yep. have been amongst he it probably would have been uh, there was a 1978 version of this i don't remember who played dr strange looked a lot like uh, vincent price but th- that's actually who uh, he was modeled after ah. yeah, originally steve ditko and stan lee modeled him after after vincent, vincent price. price but um i can't remember who played him but jessica walter from uh, arrested development was one of the women in the movie oh no shit so um, no, 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 I'm like, so, he's a cocky yeah. one, this guy. Eh? So we got Cumberbatch here. Like, get that cat out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, they should have thrown that out there. Before. Like, hey, there you go. There you go. But yeah, so Cumberbatch, uh, you know, long career of like just being in stuff that you didn't realize he was in until after he was famous. But like Atonement, the other Bowling Girl, Tinker Tailor, Soldier Spy, War Horse. Uh, then he gets into The Hobbit, Star Trek and uh, Into Darkness. Uh, one episode of The Simpsons, just by chance, he was at Fox doing a meeting and they just happened to run into him and ask him if he wanted to do a voice. He did two voices in the in the England episode. He plays the voice of Snape. Severus oh. Snape and the voice of the Prime Minister. Oh, that's hilarious! So and he would just, just run in and say a couple things. Yeah, and he and then like everybody okay. else, whenever the Simpsons asks you, your answer is "Would I?" Oh fuck yeah! Can I pay you for? I mm-hmm. forgot that uh, whole fucking rom- romance here, isn't it? Yeah, every fucking movie she does is where like crying in the rain. The movie that's not really actually not true. When fucking I started going through is. her stuff, she was in uh, obviously the Hot Chick and Mean Girls were her like early oh, day stuff. Oh my god! What then the Notebook, movie. Wedding Crashers, The Family Stone, Time Traveler wife she's in sherlock holmes uh, there's a huge sherlock is that stuff dr that oz look at that guy yeah he looks kind of guy what is he look? yeah no i know he's, he's... mad screen time holy fuck there he is yeah he's he's in it quite a bit <clears throat> um she's in about time she was in south paw she was in true detective she's all of, she's a native of london ontario mm-hmm. so she's shout out to canada she went to uh, york university in toronto i actually know a guy who went to school with her, not in the drama program. He just went to school at the same time, and he's like, I would see her around and stuff like that. He's I like, just, I just noticed her yeah, as being right. like some he's hot girl. following her around. Yeah, exactly, right? 
Um, and she was actually a, the original choice to play Pepper Potts in Iron Man. Oh. And then they couldn't get her because she was doing something else. And then so. like something artsy and cryy. Yeah. I actually watched the, the uh, they should make a sequel to The Time Traveler's Wife. Yeah. Because in the end, the daughter could do it, but she could control it. So The Time Traveler's Daughter? Oh, yeah, gross. The Time Traveler's Wife 2? Oh, like the, reve- the revenge. Yeah. Sorry. This time like, it's, <laughs> yeah. this time it was personal. Yeah. Uh, see? Uh, I like that. <laughs> I'm all over this. Uh, I really like, day. I really what, like. Wait, say, say his name again. Benedict Cumberbatch. I think that's wrong. No. I think you're correct. I think it's Bach. Is it Cum- Cumberbatch? It is Benedict Cumberbatch. Did he between you and me, you? between you and me, which one do you think is pronouncing it correctly? <laughs> I think this time it's me. No, it's never been Cumberbatch. It's Cumberbatch. Like... Yes. Oh, I've lost all respect for this man. Which is why, oh, which it, which is why his fans are called Cumberbitches. Otherwise, it'd be like that's like that's what they're called, Cumberbatches. Yeah. Batches of fans. That, yes, I know they didn't think about that. It's. It's, it was mostly a female sect of fans. Whoa, we just took out... Uh, oh, it's a bullet. I really, it's really think it's cool, though. Like, this is such a cool character because he's an asshole. He's, yeah. like, very much... Like Tony. It, I was just going to say very much yeah. in the in the realm of Tony Stark. It, a guy who just knows how fucking smart he is and, like, he's a little antisocial. He's a little... Well, except I think that's where they separate, is he's... Just like fuck, whatever, go away. <laughs> Whereas right. Tony's like, celebrate me, I am your lord. He just wants to have his name on everything, so everybody's like, wow, this guy. Mm-hmm. But like, so good, and his and his American accent. Like, I if I didn't know he was British already, you never can tell. The, Br- the Brits are so good at like switching their accent yeah. off. That's Australians why I too. It's fake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. faking yeah. it even there. <laughs> there, I love it. Mm. She really is good looking. She is fairly attractive. Yeah. I would kiss her on the mouth if I had a gun to my head. <laughs> uh, but uh, I would kiss the gun if you put her to my head. Mm-hmm. Um, what was interesting, though, so uh, Cumberbatch was actually the first choice to play Stephen Strange uh, by Scott Derrickson, and he couldn't do it. He had uh, theater commitments, so he wasn't going to be able to do it. And so they went to um, Joaquin Phoenix really? to, to do it, who he ter- ended up turning down the role because he didn't want to sign a multi-picture deal, which is, which is a requirement. Oh, hell and yes. So he, he wanted to do the role, but he's like, I'm not doing like a five-picture deal. And I don't like, know well, if you he would to. be right for the role. I don't think he would be at I, all, I be think honest. that he I, is a great actor, but I just don't see him as a Sorcerer Supreme, man. No, I think there are people, other people who could have done it, and I could have been happy about it, but I don't think there's anybody better than Cumberbatch. They it. always seem to just do so fucking good with yeah. their casting. Yeah. Like, so what ended up happening, though, is that this movie got moved... Uh, they, they bumped the, um, they bumped the, uh, the release date. So the production date moved. So then he was only able to do it. And then, so like everybody got what they wanted, except, uh, we'll talk about it a bit more in the next movie, but James Gunn lost half his crew to this movie because they were doing both movies. Right. And then this one, they were all committed to this one and then the times changed. So then they couldn't do both. He lost a good, like a good chunk of them. (laughs) Oh, I'm sure they can find some more guys. Oh yeah, it's well, it's not like they the suffered from it, right? And the... well, they like we're talking cinematographer and stuff like that, right? But I like um, you will see during the credits there is a uh, note about texting and driving, <laughs> or like oh, distracted are they, are driving. Oh, are they talking about uh, Rody there? Um, a lot of people like it sounds like that's the case, yeah. but it, but it also him being 35 kind of messes that up. Oh, is that what I said there? Yeah. But then they're also then somebody was saying that it may have been the guy in the suit in Iron Man two, but then that doesn't really line up either because right. like, it's been so long. I'm like, why would they only just be looking at him now? Oh shit! Oh, oh, whoa! Fucking up his Lamborghini, yo! Oh, is that what that is? The Lambo? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, yeah. Imagine, uh. you see that thing when he opened it with the watches, mm-hmm. and it was like they were kind of spinning. They had a little spin on. I them would when it came out of the yeah. drawer. I would. I would like Ooh. to have that. 
I don't know why, though, because I don't wear watches. I don't I have, either. I have a watch, I, and I, I have my Fitbit. That's... I don't think, uh, and I wouldn't collect that. You know, he's clearly, it was a good way. I've got all this money, but well, 500 well, which, yeah. which $5,000 watch am I going to pick today? Well, I do understand the idea of, like, matching, like, like your accessories kind of going with what you're having. Right. Like, you'll wear a different watch with jeans and a t-shirt than you will with a tuxedo. But, like, yeah, I don't think you need 30 of them. He's going to do his own surgery. I really like this actually hit me hard. The idea of like, cause again, I didn't know how this story went and stuff like that. And the idea that the man, like the thing that you basically use to define you in this case, his hands and stuff are just totally destroyed. And I was just like, what? Like did in the original comics, did he, was it a car accident or did they change it? I think that, I don't actually know. I believe they changed it at the very least. They had to change the texting part. Or the phone, or the phoning part, right? right? But like, could you? So he was in an accident, and yeah. Oh, could man. you imagine though? Well, actually, I think he might have been a psychiatrist originally. Oh, he's all upset because he could have yeah. done it better. Yeah, I would have saved my hands, damn it, if it was me. Yeah, who did that? That was a. I think that was in Friends, where because uh, in the soap opera he played a do- Joey played a doctor, and then he ends up getting killed in the thing, and he's like, the irony, the reason I died is because the only doctor who was qualified, <laughs> was, who, who was qualified yeah, to save me was me. Was me. <laughs> oh, doctor. Can you Im- can you imagine though a situation waking up to that? Oh God. It's like my father, man. He wake up with yeah. no fucking leg. Mm-hmm. No, I think no. Did he? Well, he woke up fucked up, anyways. That's for sure. Yeah, for sure. And then they took his leg after as a going away present. Ugh. Every just sucks, time so. you go away, you, <laughs> you take, take a several piece pieces of me, of me with you. Uh, no, but yeah, so. But yeah, so uh, another theory was that potentially the guy who they're t- the thirty-five-year-old they were talking about. But again, this doesn't line up either. So basically, every theory doesn't quite line up for who that could have been. Rhodey is the one that makes the most sense because right. it was experimental armor, it was a crushed yeah, spine, exactly. all that stuff, and it lines up more with the storyline or with the timeline. But then people are like, "Oh, it was actually Benjamin Bratt's character." But I'm be- like, Benjamin Bratt's older than all of them. No, here he's aging backwards, bro. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, he's not Benjamin Button. Oh, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Brendan and Brown's aging backwards too. You see him now. Yeah. He fucking looks younger than ever. He does. He looks fucking. He, he looks gorgeous. <laughs> He's a gorgeous man. He really, really. I'm like, is. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll wait till we get there. Yeah. He just kind of storms and says, "I'll be this guy." Yeah. I'm like, okay, well. All right. Cool. Like but, I feel like maybe they rushed it a bit, but I'm sure they get where they need to go. Yeah. Something I'd really like to see and is now actually possible now that uh, Marvel owns the Fox bit and stuff. I would like to see. I've never seen any of the comics about this, but my friend was telling me about it and I found it really intriguing was the idea of the Illuminati, which is mm-hmm. which is made up of uh, Tony Stark, Doctor Strange, Mr. Fantastic. Oh, yes. And uh, some other people. And it's just like I'm like, oh, that would be really cool to see. That would actually be a nice way to, like, you don't have an Illuminati movie, but say, like, an Endgame or something like that. They're trying to figure something out. Like, they've managed to bring the people back. That's obviously going to happen. And then you've Some got, of them. And then Stark and, uh, and Doctor Strange are trying to work something out. And then all of a sudden, this, you know, young Mr. Fantastic comes up and he starts, and he's got some ideas. Yeah. And it's like, oh, so, and then that's your in to Fantastic Four. Like, he's the only guy you see in this movie or something like that. And so that, weren't they in the, there was, I know there was the new Fantastic Four, which was like Hulk, Spider-Man. I think it was Hulk, Hulk Spider-Man. Hulk, Spider-Man, Wolverine, and Ghost Rider. Yes. I thought Doctor Strange was, I thought there was, <coughs> a, is it Hulk in the Illuminati? Um, I th- Wasn't there I don't one know. where it was like Doctor Strange, Silver Surfer, Hulk? Every and... team has had so many iterations. Right. See, that's like that's actually one thing that's good about the Avengers. It's like you don't have to rest on the laurels of the original, right? The original five up. or whatever. It's like everybody has been like Wolverine was an Avenger for a while, and like it's just like everybody's done it for a bit. Who the hell is that guy? Oh, they all get called up when somebody's missing. Mm-hmm. Gene. Uh, uh-uh, I like trying to get some drugs. Yeah. Oh my god, you think well, his apartment would be a lot nicer? I know. I like the irony too of like basically he wouldn't do certain surgeries because they weren't good enough for his like they wouldn't like boost his reputation right. anymore. And now people aren't touching him because if it doesn't work, they'll look bad. Yes. So he's a hack. 
He's like, I can't even, my hands won't even work. I can't even throw this computer across the room in a rage properly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, something I didn't know, uh, apparently he was uncredited, but Dan Harmon was a consultant on this movie and did some like screenplay revisions and stuff. He did, of course, um, Rick and Morty, uh, Community. Uh, on this one? Harmon Quest. Yeah, apparently he did some work on this movie. Ah. Oh, you tell him, girl. Oh, she yeah. has done really well for herself in these in these films. Yeah. She apparently in the comic world is one of the night nurses. Like uh, like Ooh, Claire and yeah. uh, well like in in all the Defenders shows oh, right. and stuff like that. Um what's her face? Uh I can't think of her. Rosario name. Dawson. Rosario Dawson. Nah. She's the night nurse. She's considered one of them except she's a doctor. So I don't know. She is a doctor? I but thought she was just like an assistant. No, she is a, she's an ER doctor. Er er Doctor. She's a doctor. She's a goddamn doctor. I see. We got it all set up. Oh, uh, oh, and he's getting all pissed off and mad. He really is. You can, re- I have spending more time watching him lately, especially lately. Like I've, uh, at work, we've just, we've been broadcasting the hell of, uh, out of both the Hobbit and uh, Star Trek into darkness. Oh, God. So I've been seeing this guy act his right. ass off for a long time. Who's he in the Hobbit? He's Smaug. Oh, he's awesome. And Smaug. he's, and he is, um, and, and the thing is he motion captured Smaug. Yeah. I saw some of the, like, he's like, like he's like fucking galling around. The he room is all, like feeling it. He was also the voice of the necromancer, but there wasn't a whole lot to that. I thought he was, he was great. Just, Even though he just did a voice, man, he was awesome. That, the scene with Smaug was great. The movies are yeah. not very good, but that scene was wicked. I think I just think it was a missed opportunity. I think that the they got too greedy with the three movies. I yes. think what they should have done, they could have split that into two and still kept all the information and just tightened it. Yeah, I agree. Because I like what they did. The one thing they did that the Hobbit book failed to do and i think i may have mentioned this before but here we are but i'm i you know we've got a lot of hours we certainly this, so do i i'm sure you've forgotten what we've told you too i forgot what you said five minutes ago there we go my name is joe by the way and Hi. uh hey. <laughs> wonderful i'm larry no but the um but in the book all the most interesting things don't happen but they they happen but they, you you don't experience them like right. when uh, because Gandalf leaves at one point and then at the end uh, Bilbo wakes up and then he's like oh you're here and he's like where have you been oh I've just been taking care of this other thing which is way more important than what yeah. you were doing and then you got to experience some of that and you actually got a chance to see Christopher Lee again and Kate Blanchett and all these different things and you got to see kind of like the rebirth of all that and I'm like so that's a huge part and you could like bring that in better and it was like but there were just certain things they spent way too much time on that didn't need as much time yeah. and it's so I mean there's a good movie in there there's just a lot of bad movie in there that you need yes, to take out there's a lot of uh, yeah. a lot of fat to cut off on that one let me tell you too fuck much time it was way too much CG it was like yeah. man what the well, fuck it, it like, looked way digi- way too digital oh god but um, and, but, and I mean I don't have a huge complaint uh, now, d- digital's getting good Guardians of the Galaxy 2 is shot in digital and it looks uh, great digital films yes and you can even call it that. Yeah. Well, no, you can't call digital it digital. It's just boo-boops. digital media. Digital. Uh, it was shot digitally. The movie. It was. Yeah. What else? Um, you know, it, the, it the, um, Yeah. Well, the more recent Star Wars, like Last Jedi was digital. It's all right. I don't think there's no have problem a problem with it. But, you know, the thing, too, is that, mm-hmm. like, it sucks that it's going this way. Yeah. But if it, there's, like, when they make a fucking movie on film, yeah. there's, like, a warehouse. Yeah. With the negatives. Yeah. And all the extra shit. Yeah. And like in what that, that Quentin Tarantino movie, that shit becomes highly expl- flammable and explosive. Yeah. yeah. So it's like bunkers out in Hollywood that were just ready to explode. Yeah. But, and it's kind of crazy too. It's like the, the digital thing and it's the technology, the thing is the technology is getting better and it will be to a point where like, had they started with this technology of thing, you would have even never noticed that you, you went from film to digital. That will happen well, eventually, but it's too, the problem is we had to go through all this, the garbage part we first. We are... Oh, the garbage! The garbage of film. Yeah. Well, both. The garbage of yeah. you know the, the garbage the, of the, the digital the, stuff. The best, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like I'm talking like Star Wars Episode Two oh, digital. Oh no, no, like like, uh, like uh, the Hobbit when they came yeah. out with it, and when they're like, "This is the new." Do you think 48 yeah. frames per second is going to be no. a thing? I don't like. 48 I don't. Th- I think it looked like a fucking British 
like fantasy show. Yep. It's like, am I fucking watching Doctor Who here? Like the fuck am well, I looking at here? It's like when you see any of the new TVs that have the 60 frames per second, it makes everything look like garbage. Yeah. And it was like, they knew it too, but they, they the stopped doing hertz. it. Yeah. They're like, oh, and some people are going to see the 48 frames per minute. They're just like, ugh. Yeah, right? So Too fast. But but now it's getting, like, they're doing a better job. It's getting better slowly but surely. And the cinematographers are learning how to use it. That's another right. thing, too. It's like, here's this new t- piece of technology. By the way, everything you know about, I know. Is that Assassin's Creed? It is. Oh, my God. Um, But it's like, by the way, now everything you know about, film, uh, about filmmaking has changed. And now you have to just figure it right. out. So now they're starting to figure it out, which is great. But yeah, we had we had a harsh point there for a long the tra- time. The crossover period, man. Yeah, yeah. Just like when I become a, a full fledged man. Ugh, I well, can't wait till this day comes. They just took me around the corner and stapled on a piece of Bologna. <laughs> it was cheap. Yeah, good old Bologna. <laughs> when oh. I get really sweaty, oh. like really sweaty, and I like yeah. drip sweat, it lo- almost looks real. <laughs> That's so fucking gross. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you mean this fight scene not yeah. that rousing Taylor so, told you so uh, our Baron Mordo here Chiwetel Ejiofor is uh, see this is why Whoa. this is why we work together because I'm the one who has to get these words these names right wow say that one again Chiwetel Ejiofor wow um, been practicing that all day the only person I can't get is out of BC <laughs> Adewale, I'm like nope forget oh, it too, you know that what's gotta it's be bad if you can't get it yeah, it's, it's freaking horrible. But uh, but uh, he he is actually a like fifth degree black belt in karate and stuff. Oh yeah, like he that. was so in that Michael Mann that. like black belt movie. He's yeah. in a shit ton of red movies, belts so. or whatever it's called. Yeah, I like he's in that black belt movie Red Belt. <laughs> <laughs> but he was in Amistad. He was in Love Actually, Serenity, Kinky Boots, The Inside Man, American Serenity. Gangster. Is he gay in real life? Is he gay in real life? Is he gay? I don't know. To be honest, I didn't come up in my research. There was like. I didn't have the uh, sexual. They, they can't even ask out. these questions anymore. That's the lame part. You can ask. I just didn't know. Ask your thing. Yeah. Um, Sorry. Hey, hey, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Google, Google oh, check. Oh, it's it's turned all the way down. We won't oh, hear it good. even if I do good. it. Good. Shut that bitch so, up. Uh, he was also obviously his big thing was Twelve Years a Slave, uh, and then he was in The Martian. Uh, another piece of. Uh, Sherlock technology. Obviously, we, you know, burying the lead here. Um, Benedict Cumberbatch plays Sherlock Holmes. I'm sure, as far as you never mentioned that in your thing, I, you, I, you just said movies. Well, now. we got cut off. I, I kind of cut it off where yeah. I was going because we started talking about going. something yeah, else. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, he, like, it's in my thing here. Uh, but yeah, so he plays Sherlock. Uh, he played Watson in Sherlock Gnomes, Sweet. the animated movie. And then you have. Hey, I'll um, pay the bills, man. And then you have Rachel McAdams, who was in the Sherlock Holmes movies with uh, Robert Downey Jr., mm-hmm. who plays Iron Man, and then who plays Watson with Sherlock is Martin Freeman, who's in uh, who, who is in uh, Civil War and uh, Black, Panther. Black Panther. So like tons and tons, and I think there's even more than that as we go through it. Um, They've been together a lot, of Martin Freeman and this dude. Oh yeah, Hobbit. Yep. This, well, not this, but the, the universe. Yes. Well, they're English. Oh, they're there they're she English. is. She is so weirdly asexual and attractive and unattractive all at the same time. Mm, I it's, would just uh, say unattractive. I don't know. I no, do like bald chicks. She, to me, she has that kind of, like, I, I now I like Kate Blanchett more in this scenario, but like she has that Kate Blanchett kind of like, is she beautiful? Like is she like she's got this kind of exotic right? I, something. I don't go with that. So and it's just like and I and I think that people just it's almost like a war a Rorschach like you just take it for what you want it to be. It be it's like you want. It's like you look like a lesbian. You're the most beautiful person I've ever seen. <laughs> and it's like and yes, the most and lesbians can be the most beautiful people we've ever seen too. That's also a thing, but that's all that that depresses me. Oh, I, I like the conversation they have here. Mhm. I liked and, and I like this too because it's very hard because they're trying to ground this in a quote unquote reality. Right. Of you need to be able to believe that this is a thing. And how are you going to do that? And she's just going to go and she's going to explain it to you. Well, this exists and this is how it exists and this is why so, it exists. <laughs> so how did he find her? Um, he, Benjamin Bratt. 
because he was going through. Oh uh, right. He was going through yeah. like. Cake, I had my uh, legs cases. blown off a landmine. Now I'm playing yeah. basketball, bro. Yeah. I dunked, bro. I dunked. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. No, he had like whoa. he had he had major spinal injury or something like that. That was basically like you couldn't even. Right. Like like you wouldn't like he something that he said was impossible to fix, but now he's like no problem. Right. And then he said you got to go here and you figure it out. And that's I mean. It seems like it's pretty easy to mm. find the ancient one, but I'm right. sure she must know more than she's letting on. I, I'm sure she only is seen by people that she wants to be seen by. Yes. Yeah. It's my th- yeah. It's my thought is she's looking for you more than right. you're looking for her. And it's like if and yeah. If, yeah. Is that a bald cap? Because man, these bald caps are kicking ass these days. I think man. she actually did shave her head for this. If I'm not, I I don't recall to be honest with you, but right. I think she did shave her head. I, I, I feel... like looking at things through keyholes. <laughs> oh, I get it. As I, I look into the keyhole, I see boobies. I see boobies. <laughs> I don't even, like, where did that even come from? I, it was some spoof on the radio or something. Oh, okay. Because I remember, like, I, I remember, like, that coming up and then being like, that's not, like, a Weird Al thing. I know that that's a spoof on a uh, Michael Jackson right. song. But to my knowledge, only Weird Al is licensed to do such a thing. So I was like, I don't know. I was like, is that just a Michael Jackson lyric that I'm not catching? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to, hee hee. Yeah. I really, oh, she's got some big old vein thing back there. Yeah. Like tape That's what also Whoa. leads me to believe more that it's also not a bald cap because I get a couple of those veins too. Holy fuck. Oh, I love I this. I once ripped a fart. That was so awesome this happened. <laughs> <laughs> like, my God. <laughs> To the people who can't see, my wife walked out just as that happened. Todd and I have always had a really good knack for people walking in at the most out of context thing. And uh, like that one time when, um, what was it? It was our buddy Travis. It was yeah. like on all fours and he was like joking, like to get the dog to come over and get him. And his like oh, dad yeah. opened the doors. So I was just like, eh, no. Nope. Like he was sexually presenting himself yeah. to the dog. You know, and we were there cheering him on. <laughs> you know how come you on, do. Doug, fuck him. Come on. Man. <laughs> yeah, come on. Finish him. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I like that, like that, that Stephen Strange is such like a prick that she had to prove to him. She had yeah. to do this to him. Mm hmm. I just like his attitude too, where he's like, yeah. you don't know, life is just this. Yeah. Well, and. <clears throat> And as a man of like logic and that sort of thing, you have to kind of put yourself there. Like that's like, you can't open your mind to such things. Whoa. I really do like the, I'd like to know how he had to, like how you act this. You just scream. Right? Cause you float he, and you scream. Yeah. Although some of it, I'm sure like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Ugh. he just got like eaten into a sphincter of some sort. It was a base sphincter. It yeah. was the brown note. This is a really good movie to see in the theaters, not even for the imagery as much as the imagery is awesome, but the sound was outstanding yes. in this yeah, you movie. You should do take LSD and then go to the movies. Yeah. I just think visually all this shit was really cool, and I, I liked I liked the magic stuff. Yeah. I think it's really neat. I yeah. think the whole thing is really, really <laughs> cool. I just like when they open it up into different things. Yeah. This whole movie is a tool oh video. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is this Freddy? Freddy's yeah. got you. Yeah. That's like And just Whoa. like those hands turning into the face, like real like hardcore um just like like real hardcore imagery and stuff like that like i don't even i don't even know how they imagined one thing into the next i know they had a guy who was like a like a fractal artist and stuff like that doing like consulting and that's like how like these worlds got built especially right. like dormammu's world and things like that a but fractal like, artist yeah what the fuck is that i i don't know ah whoa man. Oh, he's swallowing himself over and over again. I wish I could do that. <laughs> Wait. This kind of reminds me of the quantum realm. Yeah. Floating around. Well, and this is it too. This was kind of the, one of the biggest points of the movie was to introduce you to a multiverse, to give you this idea that all of these possibilities, are, cause I think, I think that this, the information in this movie is going to play more into Endgame than the information in any other movie, with maybe the exception the exception of the Quantum of Realm. And the wall, wall. It's going to be Ant Man's Quantum Realm and yeah. Doctor Strange, because one of the theories they're yeah. saying is that it would just like you know, yeah. uh, uh, in the movie he just kind of put them in a time loop or something. Yeah. So. 
Well, and they do make they make a point too of yeah, you'll get caught in a time portal or something like that or whatever. They make that point, and I think right. the wasp. But um, between that yeah. and then the idea of the multiverse, I think that it's going to be that form of time travel that's going to actually get back some of our heroes to fight and then help them figure out how to get themselves <clears throat> back. Like it's going to be a big. I to-do. had a theory. Mm-hmm. Probably not going to happen, but it's yeah. going to be a pretty fucking long movie. Yes, it's going to be very long. Captain America is going to die. Oh, no. He's going to die being a hero, but it's not going to be Captain America because they're going to have to go back in time and get him when he was scrawny. Yeah. And the scrawny version of him is yeah. going to save the day. That would be cool. Yep. And he dies a hero. Nice. Not the pumped up, drugged out Captain America. Yeah. He's going to be the young. And then you'll hear everybody. His name, is, his name was. He's still the same. Uh, Rogers. There you go, Steven Steve Rogers. Rogers. I was going to say Steve Adams, and I knew that wasn't right. Steven Tyler. Wow, 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 wow. Mm-hmm. Isn't this dude his main bad guy yes. in the comics? Baron Mordo, yes. Yes. Uh, who, by the way, um, the people who were lined up to play him were, let me find it, Mads Mikkelsen was up for that uh-huh. role, and Gary Oldman was up for this role. And Johnny Five. I'm glad they actually went, though. I, th- I think that Mads Mikkelsen could have been interesting, but I think Gary Oldman is too old. I think that it was necessary to have somebody the same age. I agree. As him. Uh, I think he's great. That dude's a great actor there. Shalai four. That's the one. Shalai is number four. <laughs> oh, now you're a beggar in Nepali, bro. That's where we all end up. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Chewy Telephone Joe Phone. Is that his name? <laughs> uh, he's, yeah, he, he is quite good, though. Knows. See, I really like, too, I, again, we talk about, like, the people who they've been able to bring into the uh, the universe and stuff, and he's like, these are people I want to see more of. And they have said Doctor Strange 2 is happening. So It should be. Yeah. And so it's like... Shambhala. So I think that's when you're going to see... Um, Buddy. More Baron Mordo. I think that's going to be his main bad guy in that. But also there's something about apparently Benjamin Bratt is Ooh. like a part of that. Like he's his like second in command or something like oh, that. Oh, no and shit. I don't know. I, the after the credit sequence, I think it like leads you into that a little bit. But um, so you saw his Wi-Fi password Shambhala, which was like his... <laughs> uh, it was like yeah, his. It was yeah. a little winky. It was his. Winkaroo. But that's how you got to do it because it's like there's certain things that are just, they don't translate to now. And a great example is saying the word Shazam to become a superhero. Shazam. And that's happening. And they and DC just open. They're like, we're finally going to do the comedy that we're going to do. That's we're doing how Shazam. His power works. I know, but you it's say just, Shazam and he becomes Shazam. I know, but I feel like they, <clears throat> I, again, it's one, it's one of those things where it's like, you, you can get around that. No, you can't. That's, yeah. that's like the coolest part. It's literally the, the least cool part. Of Not the even thing. close. Saying Shazam is pretty cool to me, man. <laughs> Shamalama ding dang. See, what about that? Better. But that's why I'm saying like this Shambhala, that's how he was like, originally like accessed his power and stuff i really like the visuals of the things that they conjure to way more so than i mean not that the two even compare but like more than uh green lantern because i kind of consider green lantern and him like these guys are the because like everybody always has like their kind of like marvel and dc uh equal like how you've got like Batman and Iron Man, you've got right. the rich guy who takes a suit and does the thing or whatever. I was like Green Lantern and Doctor Strange are in that sort of equal. Now while he right. is a an intellectual and stuff on top of that, he is a part of a society that is protecting the world from blah blah blah. Whereas like and using like these powers oh, and there stuff is like Wonger. that. Yeah, Benedict Wong. It's kind of funny because he's got Benedict. Uh, his name's Wong in this. And then he's got Benedict Cumberbatch's first name in real life. So and and his last name is actually Wong. So it all ties in. Uh, he was in Spy Game, Moon, uh, Johnny English Reborn, Prometheus, Kick Ass Two, and another guy who was in The Martian. Uh, no, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. I like that. him a lot I actually. I find him. He has a real charm to him. I agree. I I really like him too. I really like seeing him in the. Yeah. Uh, and uh, what's it called the last uh, one there? Infinity War. Yeah, that one. Yeah. I think, like, 
as dumb as it sounds, I could have even done with more characters. I've complained so many times about too many characters being in these movies or uh like Not me, man. They no, do a good they do great. Well, no, these di- these guys do great, but I'm talking just in the past of like thinking about Spider Man three or something like that. You're oh, like, oh yeah, you're bringing yeah. in too many people, just you're wrecking overloaded. It. But like you cannot like Infinity War, if you would have introduced ten other people who've been in the previous movies, I would have just gotten happier and happier like if fucking uh, jeff goldblum showed up i'm like yep i'm all in Thud- fucking a and just you think and, we'll ever see goldblum again yeah yeah stuck on the planet there he was yeah he, I don't he think he's he, leaving anytime he soon. was too good it will i don't think you'll ever see him as anything more than a a cameo again it's too bad because he would have made a great beyonder I jeff goldblum would yeah. have been a great uh, i don't know total about- what is that all about? The Beyonder. I'm hoping that they do that storyline after yeah. the scrolls. That's where all the superheroes get taken. Even if you were like reading the comic of Spider-Man, all of a sudden the last page of Spider-Man, like a portal opens up and Spider-Man's what's this? And he goes, checks it out. Yeah. Fantastic four goes missing. The most of the X-Men. So all the teams, nice. you know, like at the end of these movies, they have to re assemble different guys and like, the, Oh, this guy took over. Like the Punisher came in the fantastic four because they're missing guys. And yeah, but it was this super being from out in space. Uh-huh. who had no idea of earth or anything, but he noticed a tiny little rip. Oh yeah. Like in the universe. And he's like, the fuck is that? And then when he looked through it, he saw earth and all the heroes. Oh, cool. And he's totally like, Whoa, these guys are so cool. So he takes them and just kind of fucks with them. Oh, interesting. And in that original story was where venom came from. Oh, really? Because Spider-Man finds a, a machine that gives you a new suit and he goes into it and he gives him venom. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. I guess that's one of the theories of how he got his. I'm sure. I think there's another way that they said that the symbiote came about, but. Yeah. Nice. Well, I mean, a lot of them. The next one after the scrolls. A lot of the explanations are really no no more energetic than it came from space. And yeah. And that's like the end of it. Well, you don't need so. an explanation. We don't know what the fuck's going on out of space. Do you? I, no, I don't it, fucking know. I, 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 I can get pretty far into space and know what's going on. But. <laughs> Mads Mickelson, I think he is He's a awesome. super under um like underappreciated talent uh obviously he was uh he, in casino royale was probably the first place i noticed him yes me too. Uh, hannibal he was in rogue one where he was really good not a huge part in rogue one but he was good for what he did he was in clash of the titans king arthur three musketeers but like he's one of those guys i'll check I'll check he's been in a I... shit ton of movies he's been... good for him he shows up yeah he will show up and he's and... in polar netflix is polar mm-hmm. express Nice. And the interesting little tidbit, uh, Mads Mikkelsen's brother is uh, Lars Mikkelsen, who was actually a bad guy in uh, Sherlock with Benedict Cumberbatch. It all fucking comes around, eh? But it comes around even more because he played, he is the um, Danish, he did the Danish dub as Doctor Strange for this movie. No so way. So he pl- he plays Doctor Strange's voice in the, in in the Danish movie. version. He so, does the dub. So the two brothers are against each other because I I believe Mads Mikkelsen did his own dub. I know Palm Clemente from the next movie. Yeah, did the what did you get dub. for doing the Dutch dub? Probably not much. Like they you, you get to eat from the catering table one no, last time. No, I think what happens though is because you do it as part of like you work for a movie company specifically like you're not even you're not even hired like it's not like these guys hired the people to do their dubs it's right it's like marvel you know marvel amsterdam or whatever like deals with that um i wonder if that's something that you put into your contract like they're saying listen we're gonna put you in our movies but anytime there's the dutch whatever you gotta be our guy so um, that's in your contract, yeah. the fucking dub over money. But it could, well, I know that most people have a guy who is or have a person who is always their person. Right. And so, yeah, that's you, well, when you this, watch like, a, uh, you know, every other movie in like Quebec. Yeah. It's like the same four actors doing the overdubbing yeah. for everybody. That must be a sweet fucking gig. That would be. A could good you deal. handle that? To watch every fucking movie, the guy's got the same voice. I would not like that. Uh, as a, I know. As neither a would I. But this is why. Oh, hello. Whoa. This reminds me of that Gillette commercial that's going on right now. Why it's so like, strong it can chop your arm right off? No, it's the um, it's like it's wow. like this dad like sure teaching was. his son how to do things for life, but he doesn't have a hand. But he's also teaching him how to play football and all that. And then it shows him get like drafted and stuff like that. And then you see he's like you know he's a running back, but he doesn't have a hand and stuff like. It's just like that kind of thing. 
They both don't. But have it hands? starts no. Just the kid. The kid doesn't have a hand. Oh, he's teaching, I thought the dad he's teaching was his teaching, son how to say. Like, Wait, now they both don't have hands. Yeah. Like, where's this? I, I think when it was all said and done, yeah, they accidentally shaved off all their hands. <laughs> nice. I like. Again, it's like just the subtleties. Uh, he actually trained with a dancer, and it was a famous dancer whose name I did not write down. Um, Bob. Yeah. What's yeah, his name? Dancer, uh, no, it's not Fosse. Fosse. That, he, that'd you be know, amazing. In, in this like, scene, sh- there should have been Buddy the Balrog. Should have been lying there dead. Oh, that would have been amazing. But um, There's so much crossover into that realm anyways with these fuckers. For sure. But the... Um, yeah, the like he studied again just to do all those like little movements and stuff like that, just like um, Scarlet Witch did there. She like went and like basically learned like choreography, so you wouldn't just be like waving your hands around like a maniac. It's like got a rhythm. He went to the Wizarding kind of, like, Harry Potter school, pretty much. They turned up. They told him how to you know use your fucking hands properly. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you like that. To me, sounds like it's a little overboard. What's like going it? to like, this is how a wizard would do this. I mean, you just fucking wave your arms around. Well, it's no, no, but they're just basically saying like, I just want to not look like I'm waving my arms. around. Like, it's not like this is how a wizard would do it. It's like, I just want to make it look good. So they're like, here's how to, because you don't really think about it. I just did fucking no, some that, of these spells right there. That looked kind of retarded. Though. No, it didn't. Yeah. I learned it underwater. What? Oh, okay. Well, you drowned then. It's okay. <laughs> no, the um, no, but it's just one of those things. It's just like you learn a spe- like you learn a rhythm, and you learn how to repeat the same thing over and over right. again. And like, because like a lot of their moves are things that happen constantly, right? Like it's like doing those little like it's like so if that's your spell, you have to be able to do it every time, right? The same. Okay, yeah, I can see a little consistency. Yeah. Ooh, oh, so cool. So cool. Yeah. What a dick. Huh? His hands are working great. Look at you oh, shaving everything. Right was that now. the Phillips One Blade? I think it is. I have that. It's really good. Fucking product placement. Yeah. There so this is. episode brought to you by the Phillips One Blade. It does. <laughs> it's only got one blade, so take your time. Oh, so nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, Benedict. He is the best looking ugly man in the history of the world. He looks kind of like the. The fish man from the Dishwalla video, but you know, at, the, at the same time, it's like I totally understand why people Dishwalla are attracted. Dishwalla video. No, yeah. I think he's got That's a lot of a, character in his face. I like does. him. I he think does. he's an attractive man. It's a very deep pull. Uh, obviously, like it's, I'll continue from his movies, like where we left off, because I think I stopped after the Simpsons thing. He was also in Twelve Years a Slave with uh, Chiwetel Ejiofor. Uh, he was in The Fifth Estate and playing with Julian Assange, The Imitation Game, Zoolander Two. He had a little role in. Uh, he played the Grinch in the most recent movie, which wasn't bad. It was a cute little movie. It's not. I didn't say it. It's not a. I was sitting that one out. Oh, yeah. it's not a. Uh, well, he is listening to Beyonce movies. right now or something, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. No, he's got nothing in his ears right now. He just. Let's see. Yes, he does. He's listening to headphones. Oh, is he? Yeah, I and he's, I think he's listening oh, to he Beyonce, yeah. too, or something. Oh. One of the ones he said, he's like, you know Beyonce, right? Come on, oh, she's yeah, super yeah. famous. He's like, no. That's right. Yeah, I'm having a harder time. Look here. at this. This is another <clears throat> just cool little thing. Imagine if we could do this in school. Oh, man. Imagine all the shit I actually you, could get done. You, we would accomplish nothing. Oh, my God. It was like, I still watched the same movie again 13 <laughs> times. <Yeah>. Look <laughs> at me. I stayed up and watched Raw and then, like... And then watched it again at the 12 o'clock replay. Yeah. I didn't want to change the channel. Couldn't be bothered. I, cu- <laughs> I couldn't actually physically touch anything because yeah. I was a ghost spirit. Oh, those are the days. Mm-hmm. This is something that I always like because they have to create in these movies where like you have these like crossover dimensions and what have you. They have to create a way for you to understand that you're in it and like this was theirs is this like diamond broken glass kind of thing and it's really cool looking no oh, yeah mm-hmm. he's learning because he you know i guess like a lot of time is going by right we're supposed to believe right because his hands are doing a lot better yeah. like yeah oh yeah he's it's learning point. he's getting better oh, he's got some gray touch of gray yeah yeah one would assume he should be the guy for touch of gray yeah. He should be their spokesperson. Dr. Yeah. Stephen Strange for Touch of Grey. Well, I'm be- not even Grey. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing fine. The sorcerer. Yeah. He just he just snaps his <laughs> fingers and it just goes back to like, just goes back to perfect. Like, but you bro. can't do that. So Touch of Grey. Yeah. Yeah. You do this. Don't even try. I do this. It. You do mm-hmm. this. And he holds it up. Touch of Grey. Uh, Holy fuck. Well done. 
Um, so let's talk about Scott Derrickson for a moment. We're talking about that. We're gonna guy. do it. Um, he that? was in the day the Earth, or he in he directed the day the Earth stood still. He wrote Hellraiser Inferno. <sighs> Uh, he did, never uh, saw it, but right on. He did Deliver Us from Evil, Sinister. He wrote and directed The Exorcism of Emily Rose. So he's mostly in the horror world. And mm, then he came. A, he's a creeper. Mm-hmm. But it was just interesting because I was like, what? I didn't see anything in his resume that would say you should do this kind of movie. You know what I mean? Right. But like, I would almost say, like, oh, the cinematographer from uh, from Inception would be like somebody you would go for. Or, Something like that. I don't know. It's weird how they pick them, man. I know. They just know it. And then uh, John Spates was one. It was the co-writer on it. There was another co-writer on it who was well, but who who works with Scott Derrickson on all those other things. But John Spates, he wrote Prometheus. He wrote Passengers, The New Mummy. Uh, he's got three pretty big upcoming ones. He's uh, he wrote the new script for the Dune remake. No shit. He wrote the new. There's a new Van, nice. a new Van Helsing movie coming out. That's. I, I don't know if it's a reboot or just whatever. And then he wrote Justice League Dark. Oh, that's an awesome movie. So Justice League Dark is fucking awesome. Well, I think it's a live action one because this one's upcoming. This one has. Oh, sweet. So well, the cartoon one was wicked. Yeah. That so. is a fucking badass. So this is the staff of the living tribunal in the. Holy fuck. Um, in the movie or in the uh, comic universe, the living tribu- tribunal is like a super powerful character. Yeah, oh yeah, so. everybody gets their own relic. Yeah. What do you think well, yours would be? Oh man. He's got a big whippy thing. He gets the sweet coat. I don't know. I think it would be a bench. A bench. <laughs> just something to, oh, I popped it on yeah, here. Yeah, there just it is. Some, just a place to rest. I blew my face right off. Yeah, there. I know. I apologize. I won't, it, it won't happen. Turning again. it down. Usually it's me. Fine. Holy but, fuck. Oh. I love Whoa. the looks of this. Actually, they kind of ripped that off uh, the uh, as the date we record this. Uh, it's February thirteenth. Yeah. Um, oh shit. Yeah. Uh-oh. Actually, oh, we're not quite oh, at midnight. Fuck. Or did you just realize that tomorrow's Valentine's yep. Day? Yep. All right, we'll stop. We'll stop at a Walmart oh, on the fuck. way home. <laughs> but uh, I've got I've got some uh, I got some chocolate hearts here. Do you want one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's got a bite out of it. Whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Um, That's explainable. But yeah. Anyways, today's February thirteenth, and the uh, Frozen Two teaser trailer just came out. Frozen and, Two. Yeah. And you see Elsa running on the water, and she's running on like she's making like ice, and then running on the pads of water, and she's trying to like you don't know what she's doing or what she why she's doing it, but she's trying to get over these giant waves over, and she keeps trying it over and over again. And then, like, you see, she, like, blows this big thing and then, like, so blows a big thing of ice up and she's running and it's all crumbling as the wave is, like, pushing it over and then she goes down. And it looks like it's an action movie. Like, there's oh, a they lot don't, of... they don't show you what she's going over the thing for? No, you. it's just a teaser. And then it ah. shows... But then it goes to a thing and it shows, like, Kristoff and he's, like, riding his moose there, his reindeer. And then he's with a bunch of other ones that are all charging. And then you see Anna, like, steal Kristoff's sword and, like, just swings at the camera. And then it just goes frozen, too. And you're like, I'm like, I don't know what's going on like in this the movie. Toy Story 4 preview I saw. Yeah, that movie looks fun, man. It does look good, actually. I was like, what the fuck are they going to do? But I was like, you know, it looks good. They always pick a place where toys are that you've never never even thought of like the second one takes you to the toy store and to the collectibles it was like and stuff or the like fair that. and then yeah this one's at the fair i think it's a road f- trip movie though really yeah it, yeah because i th- yeah i can't remember what happens specifically but i also like it also brings in the idea of toys that you've created because you got forky there who's being the voice <laughs> by uh shit who uh tony hale's doing the voice forky so. Yeah, t- Tony Hale, and he's just a spork with like pipe cleaners for arms and legs, and like, but like the one thing I saw is he realized I didn't see Forky. Oh, he's in the original <laughs> teaser trailer where it's all of the characters like and they're like hands in a circle and they're right. like right around the rosy type thing, and then he's there, and then he realizes he's like, what am I? I'm a monster. <laughs> I saw him with Keegan Michael Key and yeah. uh, those two guys. Yeah, Peel, Key and Peel. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, just the Apple Ugh. core, not anything else. That's very cool. And again, it's the way they just almost casually at this point still introducing Infinity Stones. Yes. Just like, oh, yeah, by the way, there's this thing. Oh, yeah, it's Do an Infinity you think Stone, by the way. that they introduced Stephen Strange more, like in the beginning, more to show off the stone? 
I think it was or like necessary. a both, maybe both. I, Did they think to themselves, can we just mention this stone, or should we talk about Stephen Strange and his connection to the stone, and like would that help? I think it was. I I think they knew well ahead of time. They I bet you there was a meeting just about the stones, and they're like, let's talk about the stones. Well, it, the gems. Um, I heard a guy lose his goddamn mind over that. He's like, they're infinity gems. Don't try and like toughen them up by calling them stones. They're called gems in the comic. Just call them gems. Right. Like, really, that's not that's not the argument you should be having because who gives, yeah. who gives a shit? Yeah, for real. It's like you know. You should be arguing about the race of the characters. Exactly. Why is that? Why is that st- stone green? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Racist. That stone was red. Actually, some of them are different colors than they were in the comics, but the uh, yeah? I, I I couldn't tell you which, but uh. I've, I've heard that. Um, the, uh, but I'm willing to bet they had a sit down and they're sitting there and they're like, okay, we need to talk about each stone. Where does it come from? How are we going to introduce it? And then they were sitting there. Well, if Stephen Strange is involved in this in any way shape or form then we need to introduce them right it's right like, a they know it's another movie that they can have and it's like hey we can just have this under our belt <laughs> that'll be oh. they just said that he's like uh, you know what that probably helps mm-hmm. he, like he just said right now he's like the fact that you can even do that spell was like unbelievable yeah he's like i have a photographic memory and he's like it's more than that yeah uh, yeah it's like congratulations you read stuff but <clears throat> yeah Oh, he's got it. Mm-hmm. See, I like this a lot too, and like it, just these like little mentions to the Avengers. Like, yeah, the Avengers are doing this, but we're doing this. Have we already seen Thor and him? Didn't no. Thor already meet him, or is that later? That happens later. And he keeps refilling his beer. Yes, that actually you will see that in the post credits in this movie, ah. but it also happens in Ragnarok. Right? Okay. Okay. Which, yeah. Ragnarok, which we forgot about. Yes, sort of. <laughs> um, <laughs> not too late. Yeah. It's not too late. It's never too late. <laughs> we can turn back time, like share and yeah. all those surgeries. Turn back time. If I can find a way. You look good in that dress, too. Oh, thank you. Riding a rocket launcher. I drink my moo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ragnarok is the, like, it comes right before Infinity War. Yeah. That's right. Okay, the um, because yeah, that makes perfect sense because the last thing and we that get the Hulk back and everybody shows up again. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh oh, they're talking door moms here. Mm-hmm. I always love that. See, and this is a really good example too. This is what they could have and should have done with Galactus. No, but then Dormammu would be then Dormammu would have to be a giant robot. Yeah, it could have been. Or it could have been like Do Shaquille think... O'Neal. I'm here to I'm here to kill your world. <laughs> that would be Shaquille amazing. O'Neal, the diesel. In his st- <laughs> the diesel yeah. in his steel makeup. Yeah. <laughs> and his, well, it's his, not making, his yeah, Shaq Fu it's, wristbands. Yeah. Oh, his he's doing steel, everything. Uh, his yeah. Kazam turban. Yeah, he's, that would be amazing. Just a mix. Mm-hmm. Do you think Dormammu can take Thanos? I think that. Short oh, answer, fuck. short answer, yes. But like, no, in f- like, if we're taking the gauntlet out of the right. equation, just like who is a is Dharmamu something different altogether? Man. Yeah, he's like some weird shit. Yeah, he's, he's like the nothing or something where he like. Yeah, he's he's like he's a world just like eater, dark energy or something. He's like some yeah. fucking thing. And that's exactly why, because it's like Thanos as a warrior can't fight him. He's there's like no, anti matter or some yeah. shit. He's like yeah, he's like there's no like there's nothing to fight when you fight Dormammu. Yeah, just, like it's you know I heard a yeah. theory as well talking about Ghost. Yeah. So because Ghost goes, in, she's like stuck in between mm-hmm. the two planes of existence from going into the quantum realm yeah. all the time. She is really good in that movie. They're questioning whether or not she could have been, not if, would 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 she have been or was she, can yeah. she be affected by the snap because she technically doesn't exist in the living realm? Well, by the time that the snap occurs, <clears throat> she doesn't. Right. They fixed her by the time the snap occurs. But I would like it. Cause remember, they did? Yeah, remember, uh, well, we'll get I to it. I thought she was all fucked. She was, no, because at the very end, remember, uh, Michelle Pfeiffer comes out and she's got the quantum energy and she basically like cures her. Right. So. Oh, that quantum energy. Man. Where he just found himself like the the sorcerer's safe house? Yes. 
I love I love that. Just switch to whatever whatever you it want. Reminds me of like Howl's Moving Castle. Yeah, there is. I think. Oh, I think we just missed it. There's a uh, thing for Moon Knight in here. Always with the fucking background shit, eh? And the little yeah. cases. Oh, I love. I, it's I, neat, eh? I like that they did something with it, like the sentience of the. I, like at first, when it when it first started doing stuff, I was like, "Oh, this is gonna be silly, isn't it?" But then I was kind of like down with it the entire time. I'm he's got his own vibe going on in the night in yeah. the Infinity War too. Mm-hmm. He's like, "Oh, he's like fucking around." Yeah, I feel like. Holy jeez. I feel like Kevin Hart believes he should have been the voice of the cape. <laughs> Hello, man. Yeah. Don't you? No, that's Chris Tucker. Come on. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. He's, Chris he's, Tucker. A, he's, a, li- he's yeah. a little light on this. I was watching, I think it was called Fool's Gold uh-huh. with Kate Hudson and Matthew McConaughey. It looked like a fucking terrible movie. Anyways, it's like they're yeah. hunting for treasure. Uh-huh. I think it's called Fool's Gold. And yeah. yeah, they're in it. Oof. Kevin Hart was in it. I was like, whoa, like when was this movie out? Yeah. It was way before his. It had to have been yeah. before the. Ugh. Look at burned eyes there. Yeah. You got your emo makeup on there, bud. Huh? You been crying tonight he, again because he, daddy didn't give you your allowance? He looks like. He, that That was turning into like a Dennis <laughs> Miller, like <laughs> a hat cha cha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he leaned on like two cigarettes. <laughs> Big and ones. Just, yeah, exactly. Giant, like, yeah, they're Dormammu cigarettes. <laughs> Dormammu brand. <laughs> if you want to experience a multiverse of flavor, I do. Pick up a pack of Dormammus. <laughs> oh my! They uh, only sell them in Wakanda. One place in Wakanda. Yeah, of course. Well, they'll tell you they don't have them, but yeah. they have them. <laughs> I re- uh. whoa. Yeah. fuck was that thing i that was his i didn't i made this like i'm trying to decide because it looks different from everything else that they conjure and stuff i'm like is that part of like the dark magic that he it, did it, or is I it think like it was mirror dimensions well, when, when he or? brought up the anti whatever they were saying you're yeah. fucking you're breaking the laws of time or physics yeah. or something that looks like he's throwing something like that at you well and that was physically when he did whatever he did that's why they were deformed Whoa. because they've started breaking those Laws. Yes. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Is his shield more? Po- I guess not. I was just guessing. Is his shield more powerful than uh, Captain America's shield because it's Ooh. created out of like magic? I don't know. He could whoop Superman's ass though. Yeah. Thank God. Everybody should be able to whoop. I think we should just make a world where literally everybody can take Superman. That should be like- the next flip they do with the character. He's a fucking wimpo. <laughs> And he needs help all the time. Like Jimmy at his Jimmy paper Olsen. company. Is it part of the office now? Yes. It's Jim at the paper company? <laughs> yes, it is. It's just the movie is mostly just Jim looking into the camera and being like, mm, Superman. You know? <laughs> like, <laughs> what are you, you going to do? Yeah, he was one always to... Well, I guess they all kind of looked at the camera in the office. Yeah, but it was his, the, yeah. it, it was his that was like the iconic look. Like yeah. if you want to look up the... Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, if you want to look up like the memes and or the gifs and stuff like that, right. it's always him. Oh, that would be really. I I he always was wonder... constantly looking into the camera, like satisfied with the remark he had made. Oh, absolutely. Or just if somebody says something really stupid or something, like you'd yeah, see yeah, Michael yeah. said something stupid, he's like, "Well, this, this is what's happening." Yeah, this is my world. Oh, they're running for it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. So, what was like the gripes people had? I didn't hear any real. Spe- I didn't hear any specific gripes about the movie. I just think that people didn't care as much and i mean it did make money like that was just i was gonna ask you that next like what 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 is this in terms of uh cash so this had a 165 million dollar budget uh which is pretty huge for like a first character move like like a character introduction it uh came out uh trolls and hacksaw ridge came out the first like at the same time as this and it beat both of those and then uh by now marvel movies have you know the reputation but also like but oh like you had like these things like it was like a, the interest of Mel Gibson's like directorial return and then Trolls being a kids movie. Kids movies all do always do good money and stuff. Uh, but then like Jack Reacher never go back and Moonlight was out and Inferno was out. So there was a lot out at the time. It actually did like that's really good performance well, against those movies. Uh, it stayed number one when Arrival came out. Right. Almost Christmas. 
Um, and the movie Shut In, which I wrote it down for whatever reason. It moved down to number two when Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them came out. And then the next week it moved down to number three when Moana came out. So I like it played strong it is pretty low it domestic it made 232.6 million so it's under winter soldier but it's more than money back yeah it's like the fifth lowest of the ones we've done up to this point uh and it is the you're missing all this physical comedy i know and it was this and it was like sitting right in the middle it made 677 million dollars worldwide it's not bad sounds good and again fuck I think this got a lot of Europe, though, because you had your Tilda Swinton and you had your Benedict Cumberbatch and you had Mine your Mads Mickelson. Uh, Mickelson. So I think that this won over Europe really oh, well. Neat. This thing was really cool. And again, this kind of reminded me. This like looked like a saw contraption. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. So I guess the uh, I guess the uh, the old cape chose him. Yes. I have a feeling that the cape could have broken out of that glass whenever the fuck it wanted to. Oh, of course it could have. But again, it's you know, just I because like, the the cape's kind of a badass. Yeah, and when he saw Buddy, he's like, "Okay, I can roll with this guy." Yeah, he's kind of got an attitude problem. I think it should be the voice of the Rock. Yeah. Nice. Which, by the way, have Play you seen the that? SmackDown? Yeah. Have you seen the Hobbs and Shaw? I have trailer. Does it not look like the most ridiculous and fun yeah, movie at yes, the same it time? It looks awesome. It looks like every. I want this movie so badly to do better than the Fast and Furious movies. I will probably go see it just to make sure it gets I, my money. Like, once I saw Rock jump off that thing and grab onto that dude hanging on from the SWAT team, I was like, oh, man. Uh, the like, best is when he's mad. mouthing, like, fuck you <laughs> out of his stock. Like, it's just... I just hope that uh, uh, Jason there doesn't get ripped off for reaction because it's the Rock. It doesn't look like he is, though. I think he'll get plenty. The interesting thing, too, is that they're literally, they're in the Fast and the uh, Furious universe, and they literally have a man who is now bulletproof. Yeah. They've they've now introduced a supervillain into the mix, and they're just totally... Oh, it's Buddy. Idris Elba. Yeah. Yeah. And he is bulletproof. That's right. He makes like a cool line. I mean, the movie looks fucking awesome. He punches like holes in steel. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's going to be one heck of a last fight. Uh, Some of the Rock and Jason Statham, I feel, might have to team up to beat him. I think they're going to become one person. They're going to like combo and morph together. Yeah. Um, From a... Who does this, guys? I make a Bjork. Oh, my fuck. I told you. It's it's, it's like, the you know, like the... Uh, those like old Hollywood makeup ladies. Yeah. And she's one of those who has like the, <laughs> you don't, you don't even need makeup. You're so bloody handsome. <laughs> like it's like that one. It's just right. burned. <clears throat> that voice is not conducive to my throat oh, condition I right love now. love it. Um, as far as it's ranking with the IMDB rankings, it's actually number six of the 13 movies we've done to this point sitting with 7.5. So it's just ahead of, um, Avengers Age of Ultron and just under Civil War. Right on. So, well, Civil War and Captain America 2, uh, Winter Soldier, which were tied at 7.8. Is he now the Sorcerer Supreme because um, everybody's dead or because he's got the cape on? A little bit. A little bit of because everybody's and the dead. The cape has the. Well, I, I think that. He doesn't have it yet. No, well, well, he he's wearing it, but he's uh, not the cape. Oh, sorry, I meant the jewel. oh, the the Iagamoto. Yeah, he's. I think that once he becomes, once he gets that, that's his like instantly his mega in. But I think that he's coming into his powers just at the right. Like it all just kind of lined up. He's like, oh, you happen to be. You probably would have been the most powerful guy, anyways. But now that everybody's gone, you you win by default. You bumped it up. You're yeah. all we've got left, Johnny English. You did great, oh, kid. Yeah. <laughs> Your, your dad would be proud of you. That would be amazing. Just everybody, you just go find like the oldest Hollywood actress you can who is like a like a Lauren Bacall smoker, just like. Eh. <laughs> oh yeah, he's got he's got oh. it on. Oh fudge, son of a bitch! This actual this scene coming Get up. Get out of here! Yeah, I like that guy. He just seems like he's just another stunt actor. Like he's like, oh yeah, I've. I, oh, I, was I see. Sawed, he moves like a double. dancer. Yeah. He's a dancer. <laughs> Tra-la-la-la-la-la. Oh, uh, is that Hawkeye? When he was turned bad? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at the fucking pants I wonder, like, guy. do you think that these guys feel... Do you think they feel silly when they're doing, like, the hand motions and stuff like that? No. Or do you think, like... Because there's a couple of different ways. Like, if you're just... The, this is really funny. I love this a lot. Just <laughs> the, It's just beating the shit. Like, that actually... That looks a little Evil Daddy to me. Yes. 
Like that gives me that vibe of just like the way he's getting slid around. You think that the cape would have more than just a physical? Like it would physically have to wrap him up and smack his head up against the thing. You think the cape would be able to like do something? Yeah, I don't know. Like magic. I would. I would like to think that they're actually the cape's not doing anything. There's actually an invisible (laughs) man who's doing everything with the cape. Yeah, it's like Bruce Lee. The ghost of Bruce Lee is like tying it's you. Not up. actually like, the cape. He's like, whoa, fuck. That would be. Amazing. He didn't even know the guy was there. <laughs> oh, this is right. No, he does heal himself here. He's the only yeah. one that can do it. Yeah. Fucking right on. You've had an out of body oh. experience. This is I like. This is a really interesting. Like I, I couldn't. I, I don't think I could have imagined this scene. Oh, and they like, had to bring it, bring it back to her well, somehow. Well, right? that was so. it, and I, and that and that was exactly it. I like you knew that would happen, but then the idea of now you're gonna have this like out of body exp- like fight happening at the same time, and this movie's exciting, man. There's lots of shit going on. It does. It it, it, it does. It does not let up that much. It's, I know it's a, uh, it's a fucking good one, man. All the wacky. We'll have to see like all the other ones if the special effects hold up. Uh huh. <clears throat> the damn so far. Okay. Yeah, no, they do. 10 years back there, whatever, I don't think any of this... And they were pretty good. I I don't think we've come across any of the movies where you're like, eh, I don't know. Mm. (laughs) Some of the... Every now and then you'll get one scene where you're like, oh, I But it's like a real quick... But that always happens. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> she's really good in this she like and she's i think a good actress she's a good actress but also she does have a little bit of comedy chat like she's been in some comedies and dealt with some of the people like doing like wedding crashers and things like that has given her like at least the, you're a true thespian yeah. you can do whatever yeah if the, the script is good enough you don't need to be a comedic but, actor but no but it's not about that it's about <clears throat> well, like being the timing and the blah, blah. no but no but being into it because some right. thespians are yeah, like not Chevy into. Chase, he's yeah. just not into it. Oh, he just yeah, he's decided that whatever he does is funny. But if somebody's telling him to do it, it's not. Yeah, he's like, you're not funny. So why would yeah. he do it? Like, that's his. This guy's deal. still getting the biz here. Yeah. Oh, oh fuck! I'm out. This reminds me of the Frighteners too. He's totally, absolutely, the Frighteners right yeah. here. We got to do the Frighteners someday. That was Jack's a good movie. Some of this shit. Oh fuck. <laughs> this isn't the astral plane, is it? What plane no. is this? This is the just, spiritual. No, this is the physical plane. But he's now no, in the him, mirror. The dem- two of them fighting. Is this oh. the spiritual plane now? Uh, Can he go there? Yeah. No. No. I think this is the astral plane. Astral sounds good enough to me. Yeah. It's the aso plane. Are you for astral media? No, that was that's not even a place anymore. Oh, the astral plane. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> so get off me. Whoa. This is weird. You know what he was thinking right there? He's like, sometimes with my nurses, I've yeah. made out on people that I've been doing surgery on, but I've never rumbled outside of my body with some dude wearing tights. I know. Is it weird that it's my hope that that has happened when I've had surgery? Like, uh, the, yeah, like yeah. it's just you like, actually fought a, a demon, yeah, and, sa- no, and saved it for save the whole world. No, that I was like people had sex on me, or I was oh, molested, shit. or some shit like that. Oh fuck! Hello. This is cool too. I mean, this is a weird tie-in that I never like. I never would have thought of. See, I've. I I don't know if it says more. About, I don't know if it says more about me or them. Is it like, was I just not creative enough to think of this? Or what they were mean? just so creative that they thought of this? Hit me again, damn it. She still <laughs> went to slap him and it didn't work because he's invisible. I, sh- I really hope that the, um, uh, I really hope that like she's in the next one and all that stuff too. I well, hope she's like, got to be. Yeah. She's the one that grounds it in like reality. Exactly. And it, but it's like, you see that kind of shit disappear in these movies, right? Like where it's, that kind of reminds me of the matrix, the last matrix. Where like the uh Ooh, did you just phase the guy out of yeah. existence or some shit? What happened? Yeah, they, uh, they just blew up his astral self. Oh, so he's dead for real. Yeah. You kill it your well, soul. Like, yeah, essentially. I guess that's how you would have to put it. Like they've given it all kind of medical right. jargon. It's like where it's like this is not your soul, it's like your astral self. Yeah. It's yeah. like you can just but it's, it's your soul. like yeah. it's your soul. It's your soul. Just get over it. Yeah. Yeah. You're allowed to have a soul and there still be no God because this is definitely a world where there's not a God. Hey, we don't know. He could still be out there. You would still be out there. You would think at this point he'd have chipped in. 
<laughs> no, he said back in the day that he's not. It's not his fucking fault. Yeah. Why, what does he have to chip in? Who said he's got to? He already did everything he's supposed to do. Yeah. He did nothing. <laughs> he can create everything. He created he filthy nothing. movies we're watching right now. He created not a thing. I was like, if my 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 theory on God would be, if he if he exists, he never cared about anything. He's just like, yeah, this is here. Pretty dark, bro. Pretty like, dark. He's like, this is here, and I'm leaving it. You be. have no proof on either side. You're right. There's no proof, so You're it's right. literally just your yeah clearly religion hating yeah. uh, bias. Don't yeah. listen to him, people. Don't listen. There is a God. <laughs> he loves you. He does not love. He you. could still. Why would he create all of us to hate us? So he didn't create any of us. That's your opinion. No, but I'm saying if he created the world and then left it to man, he right. created two people. He created, that's it. Who that? Which then means we're all the product of incest. Yeah, well, yeah. Of that, two that people's was always incest. the question, and right? Then, that was always one of like, ooh, all right, well. And then somehow all the other races were born of that. Yeah, I remember they said uh, Adam's rib and all that shit. Yeah, the rib, now there's black people. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is that it? Uh, there, is that why black people are into ribs? Yeah. Racist. <laughs> this is the blackface episode. <laughs> the bla- We're wearing blackface. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Better get back to your closet there, Bo. He's going back in the closet. Exactly. This is, this is your first portal entering, girl? Come on. Yeah. No, there's no way. The for hell. Her. This girl. Th- this girl's seen the world. She's she's been through a portal timer, timer two. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I thought I was gonna right. have something better in there. She's like, whoa, man, a lot of weird shit going on in this closet lately. <laughs> it would have been way better if when the portal closed on the other side, people were having sex. <laughs> <laughs> like you just like, uh, uh-uh. sorry, we thought we'd again, hide behind the portal again. You two again. Ugh. That guy's dead. Oh, yeah, because like, he had a symbol in his head that kind of burnt out when his uh, astral soul form uh, mm-hmm. was murdered. Yeah. What was interesting, too, is um, like Mads Mikkelsen's character has kind of like a righteous cause. It reminds me a lot of uh, Count Dooku in uh, episode two because he's telling you a truth about your good guys. Right. Or he's or your bad guys in that case, because he's like, hey, he's like the, you know, the republic you serve is being led by the bad guy. And they're like, no, that's not the truth. Blah blah blah. But it ends up being the truth. And then this one is basically like, hey, your your good guy is not the person you think she is. And then geez, yeah, but that's still, he's that's, that's what they always do, right? I know. It's like that they're lying to you. Why are you letting them use you for their ends? But then it turns out to be true yeah. in this case. And I just couldn't just tell like, you all the pieces because it would yeah. hurt, you know? Like, yeah. yeah. But but in this one, it's a little bit more whiny, where it's like, if she can do it, why can't I do it? <laughs> like, that's really what it comes She's down to. She's a woman. To. I'm a man. Yeah. I should be able to do it. Or is she supposed to be just like an it? Is yeah. she supposed to be like a sexless kind of a thing? Sort of. Like, uh, like, like she is a woman, but it doesn't matter. It's just she's there. <laughs> It's, it doesn't matter. She's a woman. It's, it, like it's like a spackled up vagina. It's yeah, just yeah. Like, it's been like phased over. Yeah. <laughs> Doctor Strange. Whoa. Oh, you got to do the harm, man. Uh, what are you buddy, about? you just saved everything. Speaking of God and doctors, remember in Malice, when Doctor like, God, you think I have a God complex? I am God. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't that uh, alec baldwin yeah yeah fucking a that's oh, that's I, i'm willing to bet that's the only part if i say the word ma- if i say malice <laughs> even to alec baldwin it's the only <laughs> thing they'll know about that movie <laughs> yeah uh, he just says it all the time dormammu like the names like where do they come up with some of these names i'm assuming that dormammu was a part of the comic universe and stuff like that and i'm like that seems like that's something that's said after like heavy sedation like they're just coming out and they're going dormammu and you're like oh, right there it down. is no it sounds like dorm mom you oh my god whose yeah. mom am i having sex with in the dorm i don't know man maybe dormammu is uh, your mommy's gonna be pissed. Fuck your mom. Oh, that's why he's destroying the earth. Fuck Talk your to strange. Fucked his mom in college. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> the, the MCU officially <laughs> makes perfect sense. Uh, uh, it's true. Yeah. I think that's it. 
And then it's like, it's like, you know how she was feeling when I was done with her? She was Thor. Because <laughs> now, now he has a list. Now he has a list. Doesn't it really come down to something petty for oh. like that from Dormammu? Yeah. <laughs> Don't hurt my mommy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's right now. And again, it's it's this. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the other people who are like this, but it's it's really just a philosophical difference that makes them like on either side right. of, the, of the coin. It's like we're both trying to do the same thing, but the way we're trying to do it, one would consider it being evil and one would consider right. it being good. Crooked cops. Or as um, Hayden Christensen would say, from my point of view, the Jedi are evil. Right? right? So. Yep. I like Dr. Stephen Strange. You can get it done without all this killing. Yeah. No, I think it's got to be smart. I think you should just kill. I think Dr. Strange could take the green lantern. I think so. I think he would whoop him. I well, think he would whoop his fucking ass. Be- I, I think it begins and ends with the multiverse aspect of it. Right. All. Because he's like, he could literally just send him to a place where he could never come back from. Whereas the green lantern can make a car that's green. <laughs> You know, it's like he can create weapons and will things, but it's like he can literally just go, you're in the mirror dimension now and nothing you do will ever matter again and nobody will ever see you and everything's done. But then he'll just go green. Realistically, actually realistically a way to deal with the Hulk, too, if you had to. Yes. Wouldn't that be an amazing thing? to do in the next Avengers movie, the Hulk breaks out and then he's like, Oh God, he's going to do it. And he just puts him in there and he's smashing stuff. And it's just all coming back because it's the mirror. Yeah. Dimension. We didn't get to see any, uh, uh I want to see if Captain that... Marvel and Hulk mix it up. I have a feeling yeah. by at the end of the movie, they might have like team up moves where like Captain Marvel, like throws Hulk and stuff. Yeah. That would be actually or, like, grabs Hulk by the ankles and spins, you know, that spin yeah. move. And yeah. then it can show like, as if the camera's stuck to the Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of would like that. I was actually thinking that would be an interesting way to show like her strength and stuff. If like he doesn't know her and he's finally out and he goes to punch her and she just like one hand yeah. stops it. Like, hey, don't do that. Whoa. And no go. fighting on her end. She's just like, hey, no. Yeah. Don't. Oh, there he is. <laughs> that book too. Was he, he was reading re- some occult book? The fuck it, was he reading? It was a book that kind of like is the basis of some of the theories in this movie right. and stuff like that. It was like some I knew you must have been reading something there. Yeah. If it's, I, uh, whoa. In my research, I caught the title of it, but I was just like, it's one of those ones where it's like, I feel like if I started telling that story, we'd just put a coin like, whoa. Oh no, Twin Towers are falling. <laughs> Oh, no, all the towers are falling. Shit, right here, eh? 9 11 part like, two. What all the, the fuck. Did, did, do the people know this is going on? No, because like... this is mirror dimension shit. Whoa. So it's like when you see people, they're just driving and just doing whatever. It's like they don't even notice. Yeah. Look at that, eh? Mm-hmm. That's like the poster shot. Yeah, they do. Not um, with Mordor, though. No. <laughs> it was before Mordor ran in. Yeah, Mordor. He is he is where they have to destroy the one ring. Exactly. Yes. Deep within him. <laughs> That'd be amazing. You see <laughs> Elijah Wood walks in and just starts like like slowly shoving a ring deep up his asshole. <laughs> and it's a dirty whoa, jeez. Or then he go and then he looks at his asshole and he goes, The ring is mine and just slips his finger in it. <laughs> the one ring. Two rings there, bud. Yeah, exactly. Was it oh ring? Female zealot grunts. <laughs> Look at those fucking stairs, yo. Yeah. Well, I was. I've always said New York fire escapes are fucked up. <laughs> Holy fuck! Where's my apartment here for God's whoa, whoa, sake? Whoa. Yeah. It's all. I remember the subway, but not that part. <laughs> that would have been like I. I really. I wonder if they did. I was like, you could slip a billion Easter eggs into some. Oh of this fuck yeah! Like you could see Spider Man swinging yeah. somewhere, and you'd never fucking notice it. Oh, shit. Oh, don't choke him. That seems like when you're magicians, that that seems like a cheat. It seems below you, right? It's beneath you. Yeah, he's got that thing going. Phew. I'm surfing on the Well, I mean, if if you're you're in this crazy world, you might as well, right? Just get crazy with it. Mm -hmm. Why rumble the guy? Fuck that. Uh Uh-oh. Awesome. Oh, shit. Here she comes with her Goku approved gear on or whatever. (laughs) Yeah, she is straight out of a fucking... She is like, like, what was the Avatar, the last airbender? Yes. She looks like one of them. Yeah, she does look exactly like the She looks like a waterbender or whatever. 
No, they were Whoa. Dumb. Whatever. See, this is like, I know you liar. You lied to me. Yeah. We're all telling each other stories now. Uh, I would story. like to. He see, ousts her. I'm kind of curious to see, like, if in the next movie, I would like to see a uh, a backstory on the ancient one. On no, on um, Mordo. I'm sure when it's he's the main yeah. bag, and we'll get it because he even says he's like, I came, I came to you looking for the power to defeat my enemies. I'm like, what were his enemies? Like, I want to know. Right. What's going on? Like was he, he from that sword thing? Yeah, I love her movements in this too, eh? Very Matrix. Very, like, kind of like monk minimalistic, but at the same time, Ooh, yeah. To reverse the flow on that one. Mm-hmm. Have you seen that wrestler? I've seen footage of him a few times where like his dick is all powerful. He's a, it's a big thing on the internet. Like a guy grabbed him by the balls and then he like flexed and then the guy started like oh, like ah like he was in an arm lock from the guy's balls. <laughs> what? Oh, I got. I'll have I to show. Not seen this. I'll, ha- I'll have to show is you. Is a real wrestler gimmick or is this some yeah, bullshit? Yeah, it's like an independent wrestler thing, but he's done it. He does it all the time. And then the he's gonna uh, be the guy that grabs oh, his oh. dick. Holy shit! Yeah, that looked brutal. But then um, I saw a thing recently where a guy can't. He's like, I tried to end his career, and like he was wearing like this metal thing to protect <laughs> I him. I to end and, his career. And then he was sitting there, and he went into the he went in like under the thing, and he pulled out a. Um, Sorry, I did that specifically for noise reduction later. I <laughs> so I have a spot where I can go get. Oh, it. I was like, "What the fuck is happening?" Sorry, um, the uh, so you're having a seizure again. I'm always having a seizure, but uh, no, he got a um, chainsaw out from underneath the thing, and he took it to the guy's uh, to the guy's nuts. But he had like this metal thing on, so sparks were going. And then the guy again, he went like, "Oh!" And then the guy, <laughs> while holding the chainsaw, I was like, "Ah!" And he got like flipped over. <laughs> Like what it was just, it's ever. the craziest thing that you've ever seen, man. It's so cool. It's <laughs> it just sounds like the dumbest fucking thing. It is. It's the kind of thing you would hear that would happen when like a house show. Right. Like, you know, when they're just like fucking around. And well, hopefully he uh, doesn't really like this character very much because if he goes to any other promotion, this will not happen. Yeah. No, I feel like that's exactly what WWE Oh, there's she's like, now. I'm going to go to the pop machine. He's like, where are you going? <laughs> It'd be the best if you could ah. just hear her in like a high pitched voice going, chase me. <laughs> <laughs> she's like you know what dude i've been fighting this battle for eons man i'm yeah. going to get a coca-cola vanilla yeah. bro she is listed as a cast member in endgame oh so i don't know is what that her means at the end here what? is this is she dead yeah whoa that's neat looking this is like, actually this movie is just ch- there's just so much shit going on mm-hmm. in this movie the whole time this is actually a little bit of foreshadowing to infinity war she's talking about how she's been looking at like all her futures and all of her things oh. that, but she's never been able to see past this exact moment because that's how she knows ah, she knew she, you never should never look into your own death bro yeah you never want to know that it man. really helps you get your shit in order though probably it's like okay like everything's taken care of i'm not like i'm not leaving some kind of like erroneous debt like with like my next of kin or something all like people's that. debt should die with them yeah, that doesn't even make Most, sense. It, it does usually. Oh, like, okay, when, like when my dad like, died. Geez. When my dad died, all I had to do was send. Like I had to send a copy of his death certificate to the places. Right, and it was wiped out. But uh, like m- most places aren't monsters, but then some people really are. Yeah, like give a fuck. Yeah, so just you owe to me. Like no, no, I didn't take that fucking loan out. But I, like, yeah. the fuck do you think? That's yeah. like when you're like obviously like a you're like a crime lord or something, and you're yeah. like I give my money back one way or another. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, you're a piece of shit, clearly. Yeah, I just hang up the phone. I was like, you don't have any of my information. <laughs> yeah, well, they just called you. Yeah, well, you got my phone to number. To call That's you a enough. piece of shit. So I did that to the gym, that gym that closed, and then they had, yeah, like, another... great. They had another location that was, like, way far away that didn't have any of the stuff, and I'm like, well, you can't send me to collect. Like, you have nothing of mine. Yeah. I was like, I'm just not going to pay your bill, and then you're going to not receive money, and then we're all going to be know. cool with that. I don't know what... It was four, but I was dodging something forever. And My I, dick. And, oh, yeah. Like, yeah, fucking, that. like, they'll stick and roll. Yeah. And it fucking, and eventually I was just like, they would find you, though. They would find me. Yeah. I would live in Toronto at the time, and they would, I'd be like, fuck, it's the wrong person. Somebody would just pick yeah, the phone yeah. and be like, hey, it's in. And I'd be like, fuck, yeah. like, they found me. Man. Eventually, just paid it. I got a lot of. $12.75. Yeah, those fuckers. I got I got into a lot of things, and it was uh, again after my dad passed and stuff. Right. Um, I had just did my credit um, report, 
And it's like, oh, you have debt with this, and you have debt with this. And I'm like, I don't even know this. So I called them, and I'm like, and they're like, oh, is this Joe Finley born, blah, blah, blah. It's my dad's birthday. I'm like, no, it's right. my dad. They're like, oh, can you point me towards him? And I'm like, yeah, he's at whatever cemetery. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, point then, you, uh, I'll point you in the right direction no. there, bud. Yeah. See, the problem was I was in a weird spot because it was still fairly recent after he died. Like, so, you know, I'm not even fully finished processing it and I'm having I to go through I could see this. how that could be a weird, and, uh, yeah. And so on top of that, but also at the same time, I'm treating it with probably more humor than I should, which is, again, a very normal thing, but it's like... It's like I get through life. No, exactly. But it's like, it was that kind of thing of like, I'm going to use this to fuck around a little bit with the people who like it's like right. oh yeah by the way i'm gonna make you feel bad about this even though this has nothing to do with you <laughs> yeah it's a well it's a weird yeah. grief is a weird yeah you're gonna cry weird thing you're gonna cry about my dad's death before i do yeah. bill collector <laughs> yeah yeah exactly it's it's a it's a strange mm-hmm. it's a strange place to be yeah. man it's definitely somewhere you you don't want to stay too long no I'll get you know, out of you, it one you, day. You, you do your, you know, I do, I'm a hard griever, man. I just like, I give her for like three yeah. days. Yeah. Just give her. And then, you know, I'm still, maybe I'll get, you know, sniffly eyed or something, but usually over those, yeah. you know, the initial stage, I just really give her. Yeah. And then I'm like, okay. And that's okay. a good way. Well, it always comes back to whenever it, like, Ugh. whenever it happens, that's when it gets, you get it out of your, like that hard part out of your system. And then the good part comes out. The good part yeah. of grief comes after that. What what is the good part of the grief? good part is the the nice memories and right the, the hey remember when right yeah exactly you know yeah 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 good answer it's true yeah. it's true oh Doctor Strange oh it's like does he wear nail polish he yeah. is does she have is she his has big man hands yeah I'm fine with that <laughs> I like to feel like I'm safe. <laughs> <laughs> like not like being cuddled yeah, by Leslie yeah, Jones from yeah. SNL right, safe, but yeah, like, yeah. That's like, a little too safe. Yeah, she's like holding me like I'm a baby. I'm like, no. <laughs> I was gonna make the. You and know, this is more about me being gonna, short than was, her being tall. But I was gonna say like an analogy, and I was like, wow. I'll take it after. Yeah. Because I was like, wow. Yeah, I was gonna, like, just I was like, and I was like, whoa. Yeah. That's not a good one. <laughs> not a good one. Didn't go there on yeah. purpose, brain. Thank Fuck you, you brain. <laughs> I, t- I tried oh, to boom they he they did that Pop specifically they did that specific <laughs> wiping his tears that was actually his idea he was uh because like the effects people are on set for like lighting reference and that sort right. of stuff and he just kind of made this like he's like what if i just do a thing where i'm like reacting to it, like trying to wipe my tears away and then they were like oh great idea and they're like but to me it's insane that that is something you can improv. Yeah. Can you imagine, hey, you guys managed to just spend in a quick $25,000 and just make this thing wipe my tears? And they're like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, f- cool. This is Marvel, bro. Yeah, not a problem. <laughs> Tens of thousands making it yeah, rain. Yeah, it just throws it into a machine. It nope. computes it into a digital image. I would love the opportunity, and I hope that it happens. Um, oh, so I, I like whatever stick. that weapon is. Um, it looks like the same thing as the whip. Yeah, I know. What was but it called? That was the uh, Staff of the Living Tribunal. There you go. Staff of the yeah. Living Tribunal. But, cool names too, eh? Yeah. I, I, my hope is that you get a little bit of like a war in the next one. Like Baron Mordo has taken his followers. Like similar to this, but not, you know. He's basically like, we're the ones who should be protecting. I feel like that's what it's going to be more than one like evil versus good it's we're the right good Except and we're going to take yeah, yeah. He's like, and he's like we're going to take over we're going to wipe you guys out and then we're going to be the protectors of the earth type thing um whereas so they're going to have that but i'd like to see a bunch of the sorcerers going at it it's kind of like been like my dream of having like a real Jedi war where right. on both sides you have Jedi so you just seen like lightsaber fights like everywhere like that game yeah, but you, in a movie form. Yeah, yes. Or it's just like Jedi's out there fighting everybody. Oh yeah, okay. What was the name of it? Jedi, Jedi fight. Battle, battle, oh, battlefront, battlefront. There's not a lot of Jedi's in that game. No, no. It's well, mostly, I saw a preview. There's a bunch of Jedi's out there running around. There are Jedi's in it. Like you can be like certain guys and stuff, but it's not like uh, like it's mostly just uh, like stormtroopers and like you can be like the just dudes with guns. Oh, like, I thought you could be shooter. like, you know, you can, Leia or Luke or you can be them, but it's not like you're going to see like a thousand Jedis against a thousand Jedis. You're going to see like maybe three, 
It's a lot of lightsabers. It's, yeah. There's a lot of lightsaber yeah. action going There's on. There's a great story in the extended universe of uh, Star Wars called The Great Schism, where it's the the like the official break of light Jedi versus dark Jedi, and it's a gigantic war of just Jedi. <laughs> like, just yeah. rumbling. Yeah, no, it's like, I would love to see what that, that would Clone be Clone like. Wars action, or is that before? Oh, like thousands of years before. Like way before. It's like literally the first like the first darts right like it's that it's the way back when what could they do with the net because you can't have them running around the city with all that kaleidoscope shit going on yeah it's got to be something different Uh uh-oh this to me especially this world defeating kind of thing it's like I understand why people fuck it up because I can't wrap my head around how to make it good. I think these guys made it look pretty cool. What? Like, like the Dormammu? Dormammu and destroying I things. They did a cool job. It, it's like they did do a cool job, but I was like, I've like, there's a. It reminds me of the nothing. Yeah, and it, but it's like to me, there's just this. Um, I, I don't know really how to articulate it. Is just ooh, just missed. <laughs> it's, I think he had a weird. Yeah way that he was coming down there yeah yeah but it's like to me there's just like it's a tough way to like to try and good old figure reversal. out how to i know but to try and figure out how to create something like this like i can understand why somebody would fuck up and make galactus a cloud because they're like well how do we articulate this in a way that doesn't look like a big scary man like just a big dude who's like i eat we're eight planets, chomp, chomp, <laughs> right? This place looks good. Well, oh, no. well, and that's like, if you're looking at some of the old comics, that's what it must look like to them. Like, especially in a time when they weren't taking these things quite as seriously, right? Right. But they're like, this is ridiculous. So like, we're going to make I it into see, this thing. I could see whatever Galactus, mm-hmm. you know, whenever oh. we see him, it could yeah. be like that first shot of Star Wars. Yeah. Where you just see a piece of him and it slowly moves along and you're like, gee, God, like what the fuck? Mm-hmm. And then boom, it's like Galactus yeah. and he's fucking huge. I want him to be moonwalking. <laughs> um, what else too? It's, uh, I would say you, and I, I think that your model is now the Guardians of the Galaxy, the, oh, the nowhere head. Oh, like the celestial. Yeah. The head. Right? I, was, I was thinking about that today. It's funny you brought that up. Yeah. But I, I think that that's pretty cool, except that, the, you know, she drowns. Oh, that's gross! Like I, I forgot about some of these things because it's like you're watching people undie. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, she died by going through the windshield, and splattered gross. all over the ground. This is a really oh. neat sequence. Yeah. And, and the now they're idea- fighting as everything goes in reverse. Like that's fucking wicked. Yeah, and they're using the environment and oh, I like this. A oh, I like the sound effect. Was neat there. The planks. Yeah. I do like, I, I wonder if Indiana Jones can get his hands on that whip, because that's like a handy, that's a more handy whip than his. Oh, that whip's gotten uh, out a lot of jams, buddy. Yeah. I always wonder, too, because. need these newfangled whips. Yeah. It's like these things that they add, like you see, like almost like these fuzzy balls, like kind of floating around as part of like the dark dimension and stuff like that. And it's every, every single polygon in like these CG things have Ooh. to be so planned out and so like premeditated. And it always just makes me wonder. I'm like, literally I was like, Oh, they decided to make that little part red, but the other part purple. Like, why did they decide that? Like, yeah, it's, it looks like, uh, I get I don't know, like, like some, yep. Whoop, I'm fine now. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. What the hell did he just do? Yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck. He's like, holy fuck, you're good. Yeah. I like that, too. I I really, I'm so glad that he survived this and that he's going to be a continued part of it. Like, with Infinity War, he's definitely going to be, unless he gets killed in Endgame, he's definitely going to be in... uh, He had a nice big chunk of... uh... Of Infinity War. Well, not a nice he, chunk, but he was in it a bunch. For, I, he, I was surprised at how much he was in it. For the overall importance of his character, it was a huge chunk. Yeah. Like, that's like... Whoa. Like you didn't see Eric Selvig get like a <laughs> like a big like scene with one of the main guys. Yeah, or exactly. Like, that. like it's Oh, it's frozen. What does that mean? Oh fuck. Oh. His Here we go. Yeah. Oh, Dormammu just... is coming. <laughs> He's not coming, it's fine. This again, this I'm getting so many matrix things out of this they're in this moment right now where like you know reality's completely different 
and like you know the people are kind of inconsequential and all this sort of thing and so his solution is to go to the source right and there, end baby. the bad guy yeah, I like that because you know the this bad this guy he looks reminds me of something like out of War of the Worlds or something like yeah I don't yeah but like again like, like all I'm these seeing, like tendrils and like all this weird shit yeah that's like, what I'm saying like is that like organic is that like part of Dormammu or is this just shit that's floating around in this dimension who the fuck knows all I know is I want to go to whatever that nightclub is down there <laughs> that looked like a Vegas nightclub that's just like glowing and you're just like getting your dance on doing some ecstasy or like find like like that little bag of cocaine i found on the ground that you still have dude when the, when the time is right i just for the story i wanted to pick it up but i'm like i'm going to be the person who picks it up and gets arrested for possession of cocaine <laughs> five seconds later yeah, they just, so well, i'm like they i just check your um, blood yeah and find, i was like you know like Although yeah, it leaves really but, fastly. But, well, yeah, but it, and it looks you, like Groot, Groot's old man. Yeah, but you can still be arrested for just the possession of it. So, yeah, like anybody who doesn't know, just so <laughs> I'm, we're, we're going to be, I'm not going to act like we'd nothing. Yeah, I guess it gets really fucking weird. Um, yeah, but basically we had uh, just a thing where the recording stopped and we went for about 10 minutes without not, without realizing that it was recording. It wasn't recording. So uh, here we are. Oh, we're fuck. back. <laughs> it's a good thing I have a photographic memory of everything I said 10 minutes ago. I That's know. my special power. <laughs> and that guy looks just like Groot. My fucking ear holes. Yeah, I'm sorry. Boom, what a great idea by Doctor Strange, though. Mm-hmm. Over and over and over. I, don't, I can't hear myself. Sorry, that's me messing with stuff. Right at the big finale, eh? Dr. Strizange. <laughs> Dormammu have come for the bargains. I stayed for the free Just like the flea market ended four centuries ago. <laughs> the, uh... uh... <laughs> so, yeah, just this idea. I've uh, such a clever idea for um, how they've gone about... Uh, there you go. Yeah, how they've gone about. Uh, yeah, like he's looking around. Like, what the fuck's going on here? Yeah, you did miss those because it wasn't recording. Thankfully, uh, you won't hear when I mentioned Groot. Oh, that's Groot. But Todd already mentioned that it's Groot, and so now I, I could have avoided looking yeah. stupid yeah, by not bringing it up. I care about nothing. Else. And so is he? Because he looks like a dude up in there, surrounded by all this jazz. Uh huh. Like, I thought, like, he was the whole thing, and this was just him manifesting a face. That's, I don't know. That's the thing. It's, like, I don't know if all of that is, is he, a part of him that is, Is like, he, like, the center of this big party here, or is he... I don't know. I have I don't have any good answers for any of that. I uh, guess it could be anything. I guess it's up to your interpretation, <laughs> right? He's fucking, any, whatever. Yeah, I suppose so. But the, uh... He's your friend. Pain here. Yeah? Dr. Strange, really mm-hmm. your mamu. I wish for that once he just called him mommy. Mommy. <laughs> yeah, this should have been like, you know, the montage from Gajorma, and then he goes, yo, D. D, what up? Oh, yeah, he's got his old green slap wristband on. <laughs> Save the whole universe. Yeah. The, uh... I think this is a very clever way of, uh, of doing this. Yeah, the, well, and it's just the tie he's literally just tied him up he's like okay i can't beat you in a fight and this is kind of what we were talking about with thanos and again why i said keeping the uh the, the gauntlet kind of out of uh out of the equation because he could do he could do this too anybody who has the time stone can do this right if they think to i don't know that did this thanos would think to when did he get the stone in the movie did it come with the cape no, he got he he had the eye of he used the eye of Agamotto once. Right. And then he uh nothing I can do. Uh, our audio's spiking now all of a sudden and I don't know exactly why. I do apologize for that, but I'm not sorry. He's not You know what you got yourselves into here. People. <laughs> but the uh I, I can bring it down later. But the uh he, he basically he was using it and then it was like one of those like oh you're now the protector of it kind of thing. right because there's no one left that yeah. when everything blew up it was a part of it yeah so he decided I'm gonna wear this I'm gonna wear this jazzy thing 
He's now the flavor flavor. It does go with any garment. It does. It's I, the ultimate color. I would wear it constantly. I was just saying uh, last time we watched this that the uh, <laughs> that it, like it was weird that he was flying. Like it was just weird to me because like everybody else flies in a much more like grounded way. Um, I find it stranger that we are caught in the time loop with Dormammu <sighs> and Doctor Strange. What a weird... <laughs> yeah, brother. I like that a lot. Um, we were talking a lot about like the Matrix endings and stuff like that. So this comes like pre- very similar to the end of the Matrix, uh, where uh, he goes to see the Deus Ex Machina and says like you need to you need to take the bad guys away from my planet and leave my planet alone. Essentially, uh, is like the best way to paraphrase it, I guess. Um, the so yeah, that was like the Smith deaths and stuff like that. I like that. The yes. spells. As long as go, he gets it now. He's still laughing at the Beyonce one. Just takes him a yeah. while. All the single ladies. Oh, <laughs> Dormami. Yeah. Fucking get the old green hand down and shut her down, bud. Good old green hand. Suck it all back in there. That's a fantastic way to fix things. How but, far back does he want to go? way back i almost feel like there should have been a choice that he needed to make where he could theoretically go back to before the accident ah uh, he's like i can like i can undo why everything. would you well but that's kind of the Shit. thing it's like i can have but like i can have back the life i was trying to get back the whole time or i can accept what this new version of what i am oh buddy get off it i know come on break that law uh, apparently, this the bill comes due thing that he uh, brings up here is something that's actually quite common in the uh, in the comics. They bring up like the bill comes due a lot because uh, they're saying that his sorcery will like back fucking shit out like, like the that. butterfly effect. Yes, yes. Only Ooh. only Ashton Kutcher is not involved. <laughs> He's the only one who can solve this. That's my big question. What who's who's the first person that nobody wants that's going to end up in the MCU? Or, oh, or does that God, already count with please. Miley Cyrus having a cameo in Guardians 2? She does? Yeah, she's a voiceover. Sweet. Yeah. Well, you we'll, know what? I need to we'll see the that. performance. Apparently she destroys yeah. uh, Soundgarden at the Chris Cornell like oh, really? uh, show. Like if she does two songs and apparently she's like phenomenal. Good. She's been doing a lot <laughs> of that lately because she just did um, Dolly Parton. She performed with Dolly Parton at some like. I don't know if it was at the Grammys or some award show where she was getting like the lifetime achievement type thing and she sang Jolene with it. I wonder if she's doing this as like a, like a paying her musical dues kind of a thing. Like, Cause like you can never say who is a fan, but the moment I was like, she's a, yeah. she's a Soundgarden fan. Yeah. I was like, I highly doubt it. I don't know. Like, but she comes from a musical background. She might be. Yeah. Well, and there's also that thing too. Like it's that, Thumb song that party in the USA, and she talks about like, oh, and then the Britney song comes yeah. on, I'm into Britney Spears, but then the Jay Z song comes on, oh, I'm into Jay Z, like it's like that kind of, like I'm into everything sort of thing. Oh, she sure is. <laughs> <laughs> Liam Hemsworth's big old cock. No, oh, yeah. I assume I assume everybody from Australia is a big dick, right? That's not fucking Australian big dick racist. sucking piece of shit. See, again, I want to animate somebody into. All of this, where you see just like the spiritual guy, just come up and just put it, put the cape on him. Somebody it's who the, died in the MCU. No, it's the same guy that puts on James Brown's cape. Oh, and that, he just keeps going, that, wow, and like throwing it off. And he killed himself because he's like, why am I even wasting my time putting on this cape? I'm gonna put the cape on. <laughs> and then he be... kills himself. By the... <laughs> uh, Stands to reason, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Right back. I feel like I feel like James Brown ruined some lives. That's all I'm saying. Oh yeah, yeah. See, so, women's lives. Well, especially the women. Oh, we still got the shakes. And who played James Brown in a movie? Chadwick Boseman, the Black Panther. No shit. He did. Yeah, man. Get on up. It was actually quite good. Yeah. The movie starts with like him being older, and it's like him like driving and like going into the bank with a shotgun, like when he got arrested. Right. And like when it, did that move? Or not the bank. It was like an insurance place. He's like, you took a dump in my toilet, didn't you? Like, uh, uh well before Black Panther. It was well, like, yeah, like yes. I would say like 2014. Whoa. Or something like that. Scott Derrickson, you've mm. never heard of him again, and you won't hear him no. again. No. Well, that was what I was saying, man. It was just like, I like. I like, think none he did of a good job movie, with it. He did, and I, I believe he's set up to direct the next one too. He should. And yeah, like, well, if you didn't do anything wrong, why would you? 
like unless you're just trying to get like a uh you're just trying to like get your wish list of directors or something like that i really want this guy to do it and he only if, wants to do if i was a director mm-hmm. and they were like hey we're gonna change the script i'd be like right on yeah i'm like you go right the fuck ahead you're yeah. the boss yeah well and i think there are some people who respect the director as a tour you know where it's like this is like like movie stars aren't the star of the movie they're not the reason that the movie is good or bad like the director if if the if it's that kind of director is like they everything is them it's like every vision it's like right. the cinematographer didn't go off and do his own thing he was told exactly what to do and exactly how to do it and he just did it so it's like tell that guy what the fuck yeah. to do he's never listening yeah exactly stool bog yeah benjamin Bratt. This Scott Adkins again. It's very. uh This is like if Windows ninety eight was way more high tech. This is what the uh, screensaver would look like. <laughs> it's a sweet screensaver. Love the screensaver, yo. I like the DVD thing. Yeah. Oh, ooh. So this is your uh area. <laughs> yeah. So th- this scene is directly out of Thor Ragnarok, uh, but this is. I kind of, I was kind of yeah. surprised, but this is exactly, they've done this a couple of times now. Yeah. Because uh, they did this for, uh, like, leading into Civil War. They did this uh, leading into Avengers and stuff like that. It's just like a flat-out scene. I don't know if it was intended to be. I love that. Like, <laughs> such a, I was like, instantly, I'm like, oh, these guys are going to be best friends. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. God. A fair-looking man. <laughs> and I like it too because it's like he knows of the Avengers and he knows how powerful they are and all that and he's just like you're nothing to me. Yeah. Because again, I can Ooh. just he's like I can't beat you in a fist fight, but I can just is that how Ragnarok like, starts with him? It doesn't just start time. that way, but it gets into it. Right. Yeah. Right on. But well, uh, there they are. Yeah. So I can't remember. There is another. There is a post credit scene. So that was your mid credit scene. Oh my fuck. Well, they're saying I can't remember how many that like Guardians has like four billion. And it's like I think I think it's like five or something. Guardians like has that. a shit ton, and so does Black Panther. Yeah, and it was a good ones though. Four Black have, Panther ones. I just yeah. never saw them in the theater. Sorry. Never listen to people, man. I know they're I not going to leave without you. I never like I was worried I was in like a different place. I did yeah. now. I was in the states for God's sake. Uh. Yeah, you don't want to get fucking murdered walking home. Well, it's something I always think about in, like, even this movie, like, when he just sends somebody, like, via his, like, portal to just someplace in the middle of nowhere. I'm like, how do they get back? They I'm like, don't. Well, because my thought was, if they have the stuff and the ability to do the travel and all that stuff, too, they could just come right back. So that was no. But the fact that they seem inconvenienced by the fact that it happened means that they can't. So I'm like, what do they do now? Are they walking? They're walking. I'm just like, all right, I'm just going to hoof it through the desert until I... Six months later. Find an Uber. Catch up to that motherfucker. I know that's not how Uber works. Oh, I'd be so mad, but then what could you do? Go yeah. back there and have them do it to you again? That would be... Yeah, un- you just have to get over it, man. Move on, because you're just like, fuck it. That would have been a really funny running joke. You get somebody who's very distinctive, so you recognize him yeah. as you see him through the movie. And he just like... And like it Matt starts, Damon. Yeah, there you go. It starts with, um, like, the guy goes to attack uh, the Ancient. And she sends him gun, and now he's finally made it back. And then Doctor Strange, or and then like uh, at this point, it's uh, Mordo sends him flying again. He's like, oh god! And he finally makes it back. And then that Doctor could Strange. have been how they defeat Thanos, because he knew way back that Thanos was coming. Yeah. So he keeps sending this guy back, and he keeps yeah. getting more and more powerful to destroy Doctor Strange. But when he finally gets to Doctor Strange, he's like, "Fuck you, Thanos! Yeah, you can't to get your hands off that. I'm gonna kill that guy, not you." He should just I think, rock Thanos. He should have just traveled back <clears throat> minute by minute in time, and then kept collecting all the Avengers, and then bring them all back. So there's like a hundred Thors, a hundred nice. Hulk, that might happen. But wave he, after wave of Thor. <laughs> coming out who's the real thor a couple of thors are doing it over there like what the fuck I, well come on if there was if there was multiple chris hemsworth and two oh, of them man. weren't Just, making out with each other the thor the army's in the middle of rage sex they're yeah. out yeah. they're out for a while these two are done 
And All like, of them. Yeah. The whole army. But they, what are the Captain Americas doing? Well, a couple of them are just staring in a mirror while they do bicep <laughs> exercises. Yeah. Like those assholes at the gym. Yeah. Oh, my God. What's oh, my God. I saw a girl today yeah. who was... I've never seen these two girls. The one girl spent most of the time yeah. looking at her own cleavage in the... Because she had like a, like a titty top on, but yeah. then kind of like a... I don't know, something that goes over top of it. Yeah. But it still was open so you could see your cleavage. She, she kept, like, looking and being like, oh, like, I'm not showing enough cleavage. So then she, like, <laughs> opened the thing up and then, like, take the bra with her thumbs or whatever the top was. Yeah. And then kind of push it down. So the whole time, so she had the most tit coming out possible. Those are the ones that make me mad because those would also be the first ones. If she saw you looking at her boobs, she'd lose her mind. I'm like, but you're literally... <laughs> You're literally yeah. molding no the aesthetic. Very... You're literally molding the aesthetic of your boobs. That's not for you. Yeah. No, clearly it wasn't. No, no, no. And she kept looking too. Yeah. Oh yeah, she was thinking naughty thoughts at the gym. Oh, if you go to the gym. Yep, I'm done. Okay. It. And you look around. Yeah. Because what else is there to do? Everybody's looking around. I work out. I go. Like there's so much awkward eye to eye contact that happens at the gym. Yeah. Or because everybody's looking, but you don't want to. Know, you know, nobody wants you to know that they're looking, and it's like you're doing. Everybody's doing one of two things: either checking out members of the opposite sex or sizing yourself up against the yeah. members of the same sex. <laughs> <laughs> there's like like i always feel bad like you see it in their faces too I, that's why i always feel bad for women at the gym because you see the ones who are actually trying to get in shape and then the ones who are just like you said who are like they they're the perfect body and, and they got nothing accomplished just, no the girl got nothing accomplished no, of course not See, they kind of farted around and i was just like oh my fuck lady yeah it's uh there's easier ways to go about it just walk up to somebody and be like hey fuck me in the ladies room right now <laughs> I mean, that never comes up. <laughs> well, it comes up all the time. It just never yeah. happens. <laughs> the master oh, of the mystic end ladies. credits. Yeah. Feels like yeah. There's a lot single of... Single ladies. Yeah, that was good. You know Wong's a fucking Beyonce fan. Come he on. should be, though. That would be funny if that's how they ended this, if that was the actual after, like, or if they had another, like, post-credit kind of scene where it was just him and, like, you see he's online or something like that buying tickets to Beyonce. Yeah. <laughs> he said they had Wi-Fi. Yeah, right? So then that's fine. Or actually Mordor did. Yeah, I don't quite understand that. I feel like there should be a magical version of Wi-Fi. Oh, there probably is. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Sparks. <gasps> The Bubba Sparks. Stare at them. Hal Sparks from Queer, uh, when what's called Queer as Folk. Oh, fuck. This is not shit. This, this could be anybody. In a hoodie. That's, that's the crime. Matt Murdock. Would that not blow your mind if one of the post credit things, like, all of a sudden brought the TV world into it? Like, you saw The Punisher. Or you I'm saw sad that, that Matt Murdock is not, uh, oh, He's fuck, a, I forgot about yeah. this. Uh oh. Oh yeah, that's right. He's not a bad guy. I, I'm just remembering what exactly happened now with this. Mardo, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> kind of reminds me of that scene in uh, Beverly Hills Cop when the like, the guys come and he's like, "Oh hi, how you doing?" And he's like, "I'm gonna kill you." <laughs> yeah, this uh... is. Yeah, this is the. Uh... I I forgot. I thought he drags him into his side, but that's not what occurs. Uh oh. Uh... All he is is using it to just be upright, man. Yeah. Yeah, but he's cheating. Oh, I'm sure in the next one when he's the bad guy, he's going to be using the the power for, <laughs> you know, distorting the laws or whatever the hell. Oh, yeah. fuck. Just took your magic, bro. Uh, uh, oh, that's so cool. He's going to make a big bad guy, I think. Uh, I think so, too. Ooh, because he wants to be the only one. Yes. Or at least Doctor Strange will return. Well. I would like it to just one time be a question. Will Doctor Strange return? The end? Uh, I love that. A uh, good question mark after the end. All right. Uh, yeah, that is always good. That's like, the, that's a Simpsons thing, and that's just the best thing you can do. All right. Um, thank you guys so much for listening. Sorry to the weird for the weirdness after the 
near the end point. Uh, <laughs> we got thrown off a little bit. We got trapped in Dormammu's time yeah. loop. And then it started messing with all our equipment for some reason. This is, I will tell you right now, this happens to me every time I think about buying something new. Oh, it's like, I, well, yeah, you're going to fucking look at that. It's huh? literally what happened. You're, gonna, you're looking over there. I'm going to fuck you over here. Yeah. And so, yeah, we were talking about buying a new mixer. And now all of a sudden, like, the, the, this stops recording. The mixer starts playing out weird audio. machine, bro. A lot of weird shit going on. So I do apologize. Uh, this could be God. I did question him earlier. There's so a lot of strange stuff going um, on tonight, bro. So sorry. Uh, during the watching of Doctor Strange. Sorry. I'll, I'll uh, throw out the Lord's Prayer when this is done, hopefully, uh, you next don't week. You fucking know it. I do. Our Father, who art in heaven, and hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Break us our trespasses. And, uh, and, uh, trespass against us. Yes. Uh, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power, and glory forever and ever. Amen. Wow. I don't know it. <laughs> I was being go. like... <laughs> ah. See how I got it out of one? It was a good guy knows it. <laughs> that was just that actually God, reminded me of like old school... Passed. You know that bit in old school where he does like the debate and he starts doing all he starts like saying the whole debate and then when it's all done he goes oh! <laughs> it's like I just blacked out. Power and glory, great uh, tag team. Yeah. Um but yeah, no, I know things. I know like six things. And that was sweet. That was one of them. I've wasted right. it. Ah. Uh, uh, thank you guys all so much for listening. Uh check us out next week. We're doing Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Uh we're gonna see where that fits into the the world as it were uh we will see you then as always catch us uh podcast at miscastcommentary.com find us on uh, twitter at miscast podcast uh i'm at jk finley todd's at miscast todd uh find us on instagram at miscast commentary uh join our facebook group come on just click just click join you don't have to do anything beyond that it's really not that much work uh go check out our youtube page it's just the Miscast Commentary YouTube page. Uh, you can find the link on our website. You can find it in many other places. Just go subscribe to that. We've got some brand new video content up Ooh, there yeah. that we want you to see. We've got our Miscaster Peace Theater going now. There's all <laughs> sorts of awesome stuff. So. Uh, yeah. So we will see you guys next week. Thank you very much. Being normal sucks, so stay strange, baby. This has been Miscast Commentary with your hosts, Joe Finley and Todd Murray. Executive producer, Joe Finley. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the podcast wherever you listen. Visit www.miscastcommentary.com for all news related to the podcast. Miscast Commentary is a Miscast Media production. Miscast Commentary. <laughs> Fuck it, we're using that. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs>